Episode 85, dude. I'm jumping right in. Steaming right into it. Ocho Cinco, dude. What's up? Steaming right along. Uh, we had to. We tried to record yesterday. Ever since I've gone to the city and become a big city boy, me and Matt, yeah. just, we're not on the same page. Nah, man. I'm trying to get a New York minute, dude. Yeah. It's tough. Is your dog biting you? No, he's just fucking... He's just gonna throw up. <laughs> My dog is here. Shout out, Finn. Shout out. We got a, this is a fucking crowded studio. This is a today, crowded, dude. crowded studio tonight. It's and great. Uh, well, today. And uh, so yesterday we tried to record. Things didn't go well. We ended up talking how sick Trump was. For, <laughs> yeah. we, I, and I normally I'm there to pump the brakes a little on this, but I'm all I'm, well, you know all, I'm on board the Trump train. You know dude. what's funny? Uh, it, we're back. No, you know what is funny? I remember like before we first started, you was, you would say certain things that I would just totally clam up on. You'd be like, you know, what? I'd like kind of look at you like. If I just remain silent, I'm not connected with this. And then I was yeah, talking yeah, yeah. a lot yesterday where I'd watch, look at you, and you're just like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you're hitting, you're hitting QAnon. You're hitting yeah. breadcrumbs. I, mean, I, and... I basically accused Robert De Niro of being child molested. Yeah, you did I looked it up that. today. It's, it's not true, dude. It's not? Uh, it's, he was, he got, quote, unquote, he got brought in in questioning relating with a an escort service that was rumored to have used younger girls. But it's like, he was in France, but it's saying he was like, I was only ever questioned. I wasn't, I wasn't attacked, but he also might be a guy who just was getting hookers in France. Yeah. And got, it's like, he's, he's, I'm not going to throw anyone under that bus. Dude. He's the man. He's like, you can fall under that. De Niro's the man. He's a fucking douche for yelling fuck Trump at the Tony. But Awards. I was wondering, I'm like, cause it was so like, dude, he's, he was a child molester. Someone said that. And I was like, what? And I he looked into was... it and it was like, it's, Worst case scenario, he was ordering up young sniz, and that's bad. Or he was just getting some whores, and he Which got Which actually is in. sick. Depends when, he, what year he was ordering young sniz. I think it was like 98. That's, that's when he got that's brought borderline, in. borderline, you're not allowed to get order young sniz anymore. <laughs> no, I mean, he, no. In the 70s, like, they 70s hung out with 16. prime 16, yeah. young sniz. But, but, uh, no. but anyway, that's, anyway, that's, so you can, deb- I can debunk that. Is that, that's, I was up here just fucking destroying reputations last night. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, so we brought in, we brought in from the bullpen, Matt and Shane secret podcast, major, you're the, you're the main guest. Pretty much. You, you've been on, you this is the your third? third time. Yeah. Yeah. This is the third time. I don't think anybody's been on twice. No, definitely not. Well. So, I mean, imagine that ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Steven Gerben. <laughs> Thank you for having me back. Steve Gerben, yeah. noted, here, noted Jew. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Not much. What brings you in here, Steve? Well, I got a text message yeah, from exactly. Shane. Yeah, it was us. <laughs> <laughs> what brings you in? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Dude, I'll say, me and Steve were talking about buying houses, and I was house, house shopping with my bae last night. And it hell. is like, dude, absolute fucking hell. Hell. I was sending I was sending a picture to Blizz halfway through. I was, I was like current mood was a picture of Andrew Cunanan, the guy who like made out with old gay men and killed them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you love that guy. Yeah. But I was like, dude, I was sitting. It, you walk into houses and it's like, there will be like a sink that my girlfriend likes, and she's like, I love this house. I'm like, that's a sink. That two hundred dollars. You can't make a two hundred thousand dollar decision based on a fucking sink. It's like, am I, am I saying I like it? Am I saying I like it? Like, <laughs> dude, I was ready to fucking die yesterday. Uh, just handling, like, saying and doing something fucking dumb the way chicks do is so fucking it, it annoying. Just, like, it, like, she wanted to buy a house based off a $200 sink. Yeah. And then when you called her on it and she realized how stupid it was, instead of being like, yeah. oh, yeah. It's she an was immediate, like, what? Fuck you. you it, it, fuck that, and that's the thing. I was it's like, a very you, female response. No offense thing was to like, your bitch. You can't think, I was like, you can't ba- buy a house based off of cosmetics. That was my whole thing I was telling her. I'm like, because I know how to paint. You can and fucking, you can dress I it can, up, you know, baby. I know how to paint. So like, if you're like in the paint job, of, get a house with a shitty paint job, I'll paint it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, but dude, she's just like, I'm not moving into some piece of shit just because you think you can fix it up. And I'm like, I'm not. I can't fix it up. But I she's can. got. A, she's got a point there. Yeah, but I'm like, I can at least. Pay, I'm like, don't look into a house that has a bad paint job and say no, because I can paint a house. So like, don't, you know. But it was just like, 
Jesus Christ, man. Just looking. A lot of people just do the things they know. They're like, we'll make a big kitchen, but everything in it is cheap as fuck. Yeah. And like the drawers bang against the other drawers and nothing works. And I was just like trying to explain that shit to her. Kitchens yesterday. are expensive too. Super expensive. I used to sell... I used to sell cabinets. You just, did you trick old people into the cabinets? Yeah, well, it? I tried, and I couldn't trick them. <laughs> I couldn't trick anybody. Because this is what would happen. You would, I would design it. It was yeah. in-home in home sales, and you would design these fucking things, like a new kitchen. And then when I would click on the laptop, like, what the final price is, every single time when the price came up, I'd be like, oh, I mean, this has to be a it was, mistake. It was like, what, like, like 20 grand? Crazy. Yeah, it'd be like $47,000 yeah. in somebody's shitty house. And I'd be like, all right, well, this is a mistake. Yeah. Like, no way they're the, and, and then I couldn't lower the price. And I'm like, well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a mistake. It's $47,000 <laughs> for you. And they're like, all right. It's funny that like, if I'm being sold on something and they pull up the price, the person goes, whoa, whoa, that's yeah, yeah, super yeah. high. And yeah. I'm just like, I'm out. Yeah, yeah but I'm I not... did that every single time. I'm like, this is too high. You shouldn't buy this. Yeah. I mean, that's... Every time. And then I would sell old people fucking bathtubs, the same company. Did you really? Dude, I made that's one. That's a good sell. I made one sale. In three months, selling on, bathtubs on in a job that was one hundred percent commission. Oh. I was, was your, working was for free for two months. What was your pitch? Be like, yeah, Yo, you dirty bitch, get in there. You need a <laughs> well, bathtub. it was geezers, so you would get them fucking walk-in showers. So you were a bathtub salesman. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, didn't you talk about this man? Remodeling. Do you need a tub? Remodeling. No, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. go door to door. It was set up. They these are these are the people that are morons enough to get tricked. Yeah, it was like a warm lead. At Home Depot, they got trapped. Yeah. Someone was like, "Hey, do you want to have somebody come out and give you a free appraisal on a new kitchen?" And then I come in. And I'm like, "Whoa, this shit's too expensive. I'll see you guys." <laughs> But yeah, that was That's hilarious. What were we talking about buying a house? My sister and her Arab lover <laughs> <laughs> have really they they're moving again. I think they've moved back and forth from Harrisburg to Philadelphia. Well, they move every year. They I, move well, every single year. I mean, he you can't think help he's, it. You think he has to, he has he's to, nomadic. He's nomadic. Dude. <laughs> he's, they have a fucking caravan. They have a caravan set up on 76, dude. Just I mean, do I have to say? Dude, trades. He's, he's nomadic. Yeah, now he's selling kids. Well, it's funny because that interrupts my other point. I'm like, every time, if he's listening to this, I always wonder about your brother-in-law thinks when you're like, my hair, Arabian lover. Arabian, yeah, dude. <laughs> if I'm sure, like, you must just be like, motherfucker. No, he's... he's he always, I know he laughs this about is, it. He's a dork, though, so it's funny. <laughs> I love him, but he's a fucking... He's, he's an man, Arab. Dude. He's an Arab. Arabs are fucking dorks. You but, think so? Uh, yes, across the board. Uh, yeah. Every Arab is a fucking I think they're dork. up on the uh, pyramid of coolness. They're up from Asians a little bit. No way. You think Arabs or Asians are cooler than Arabs? I, you're thinking <laughs> like Dubai Arabs. That's a very small no, no, no. percentage. I'll give it to you. I mean, I'll, We're talking Egyptian... How deep are you trying to go? The majority of Arabs. Egyptian's pretty, Egypt's pretty chill. Egypt's not chill at all. Really? Yeah. Fuck. They're fucking beheading people, blowing up mosques and shit. Yeah, all that's right. not good. But uh, I th I still think they're cooler than Asian people. Asians Asians are making a run lately. What, well, what, Arabs what? and Asians are basically in the same. I think they're in the same level of the coolness pyramid. I'd give Arabs a little bit up. They both wear those tapered <laughs> pants. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. A lot of silk. Yeah. They're both right. doing cool hair, cool haircuts now. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I mean, anyway, hey, I, anyway. Yeah, here's gonna... here's an idea. My my Arab, uh, my Arabian brother-in-law thought that Dave Matthews Band, because uh -huh. when he moved to America, it was like he still he still struggled figuring things out. And in school, somebody was like, "We're going to see Dave Matthews Band tonight," and he thought Dave Matthews was a student. <laughs> in his school so he went around looking for Dave Matthews to ask if he could go to his concert wait did he ever go to the like I want to know if he went to the Dave Matthews band he went to concert, the concert he goes like, holy fuck this guy like, goes to my school damn dude this guy is old for school <laughs> but no my favorite story and I've told it before so fucking funny. my Arab brother-in-law uh, showed up on the first day of school his parents just dropped him off at the bus stop and they didn't know they didn't know the color the colors that people were allowed to wear. So he was wearing a big purple fluffy jacket. <laughs> they didn't know that that was a girl's color. So he's a little Arab kid that can't speak English in a purple. He can't speak English. He can't speak a fucking word of English in a purple jacket. And then he got on the wrong bus and went to the wrong school. 
<laughs> and no one knew who he was. So he's just walking around and they're like, D- are you where you're supposed to be? And he's like, oh, some of the little. He went home that day. He just went to a, he just went to a different school. What did they do with him? No one can speak Arabic. Dude, they just who, fucking... do you fly, who do you call? <laughs> you call There's Ghostbusters, dude. Arabic boy in a purple jacket. Like, like, dude, this, is just, pre, this is pre-9-11. No one would, cared. That's what I'm saying. I, but still, I would just spin his shoulders and just be like, go that way, bro. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm not about to deal with this shit, dude. I'll That's be... just such a funny fucking first day of school, oh my too. God, it's hilarious. You're in a different country. You're just in a purple <laughs> fucking jacket <laughs> and in the wrong school. Speaks a lot to the safety of America, dude. Mm. Another country, he would have got snatched up and sold into sex slavery. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, first maybe. day of school, you get lost. Someone's like, "Yeah, come here. Yeah, come here. I'll help you." Uh, That's so but funny. no, he had to. Him and his family had to flee religious persecution from the Muslims. Yep. So keep that in mind. I'll keep it I was talking to a fucking Armenian last night in the green room. Yeah, what do you before have to he say? went on? I was they like, got genocided. Yeah, uh, Steve Odabashian, mm. Oda, Odabashian, okay, Obadashian, Odabashian. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, we were in the green room. and I was like, oh, what are you Armenian? He was like, oh, nice. I was like, what do you think about that genocide? <laughs> what the Armenian genocide? Yeah, and he was like, we started talking about it for a while. Really? Before he went on, right before he went on stage, you talked about the Armenian. And he was genocide. like, you're gonna make me fucking cry, dude. And I was like, oh, my bad. Then he went on and fucking ate a dick. <laughs> I was in the back like, oh, my bad. So, uh, like, Dashian is Car- an Armenian name? Yeah. Like Kardashian, Obadashian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Good to know. I never but knew that. a lot of people, he, I was like, why don't, why don't we recognize that? Why is that a genocide that America won't? And it was something to do with, like, Russia and Iran. It would, like, be insulting to them. But that was that's another Muslim genocide. Keep that in mind. What the Armenian genocide? The Ottoman was Empire. Really? Yeah, the, that was oh, Ottoman. That was that. some Turkish, some boys, dude. Killed one point five million people. That's pretty. What good. do you think of that's that, pretty, Stephen? What do you think about those numbers? I, those are high numbers to be of death. You think it counts as full genocide? I, I think so, but I think that the, the political considerations are what keep them from actually calling it that. Oh, they call it the Armenian. It's what good they to have it? Steve here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I know. I mean, Shane knows more than I know. No, I don't know that's, shit. That's, I don't a, know that's shit. about what would the extent of my like knowledge. 19, it was like 1915, Ottoman Empire, yeah. World War One, pre, you know. Well, just spitballing, Steve. What would you say your favorite genocide is? Favorite of, yeah. genocide? Like, which one are you most drawn to? It's got to be the one of your people. Well, I mean... Remember I, when your people got fucking Like, if you had pick one... Yeah, so yeah. I, well, book, ideally, I'd pick one to do a book report on. Which one would you pick? Well, my favorite would be the one where the fewest amount of people got killed. Oh, I just don't know what how. What a to... fucking sissy answer. But, but I, I mean... so you like them quick and easy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't have a good answer to that. I, that's a bad. That's a bad. Yeah, no, that's a good question. What's your favorite genocide? What's I don't yours? Know, I'm thinking. Yeah. I think. I think an underrated one is Australia getting rid of the Aborigines. <laughs> that's an underrated that's, one. Really? Yeah. You imagine mean, that those boys. Get talked about a lot, or you mean? Yeah, it's just we don't. Like, we don't talk about it enough. What they do? They just went down there and wiped out the native Native Australians. Yeah. I mean, and it was a bunch of fucking bad boys in Australia. Yeah. You know what I mean? Criminals. That's criminals and fucking English, like fucking. It's just guys wandering around being like, "Fuck off!" Fuck yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was. That's pretty great. That's probably pretty. That's probably pretty brutal. Of like. Yeah. People moving next to you, and then like. They come fucking kill you, and you're like, yeah. oh, what the fuck? Because a lot of the American <laughs> ones, they put up a pretty good fight, so the genocide was more of just us dominating a war, you yeah. know? Oh, you're saying these guys yeah, did it's like, like, dude, well, America, America won they're, the they Indian have, Wars. They have plumper Indians down there, don't they? No, they got blacker Indians. I thought they were plump. I thought they were like... Oh, those ones... Like Samoan No, type. they were just... Like Inuit almost. No, Aborigines are like... I thought they had those hot Inuits down there. They don't have hot Inuits. <laughs> the Samoans are plump, though. Yeah, I know there's some big plump. boys. Those I had are, a Samoan fuck me up one time. That'd be a negative fight. Yeah. Trying to go to war with a bunch of Samoans. All you got is like a musket. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, the next thing you know, the rock's coming out. So I always picture... When they call when they say Aboriginals, I always picture like the shorter, stouter... No, Indians. they're like lanky black people. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Do you know that, Steve? Well, I think it's just like... Yeah, no, I didn't know it. It's good to know to what that you know. I always picture like an Eskimo. No, because well, because isn't that term for any group of people indigenous to a particular place? I'm not sure. Oh. Aboriginal just means like before white dudes. Okay, you know. <laughs> it's really great. It's pretty funny when you think about it. Gotcha. All right, all right. Enough of this. Uh... You know, white people apparently evolved like eight thousand years ago. What are you talking about? That like whiteness in the cave you're talking about? Well, just like. 
white skin. Eight that it's only eight thousand years old. Something like that. We we got to Google, but it's incredibly recent. Really, it was one of those things. What that, happened? Well, I'm assuming it was something about living in a, a cooler climate, or not. You know, like yeah. less sun. So you, you think need we're to, like albinos? You need to gather more vitamin D. This is, by the way, Google this. I have literally no, no idea sure. what I'm Steve, talking about. We say we say garbage nonstop. Okay, but You're allowed yeah. to, I think yeah, you I know, in order to capture <laughs> sort of like a solar panel. Do you think that we're then just like albino black people? Well, sure. I mean, we're, I mean, not black. We're just albino people, man. Yeah, but we're just, supposed to be black. It's no, it's an evolution. It's an albi- evolution to where you live. Just like black people evolved because they were close to the equator, so they need less sun. Yeah, that's all. As when people spread, yeah, but you wouldn't if you had the melanin, you wouldn't die off either. So it's like it's not like it would be an encouraged to be lighter skin. You it know would, I mean? would because you, would. you could get like rickets and uh, yeah, you uh, get sick up there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the further north you go, you get you can people get sick from lack black of sun. People, black people get sick. White people get sick. So imagine, you know, a couple oh, you're of, talking oh, a couple of Aboriginals like up seasonal there. Seasonal oppressive disorder or <clears throat> affective disorder and all that stuff. Although Inuits are pretty fucking. So you think whites can take darkness better than black people? You're saying. Obviously. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> wow. I had to do the math I, I never there. Thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I never black people can take sunlight more. Fuck it. Yeah. So. True. That keep that sense. in mind. Interesting. So. You know. Well, how's New York going? <laughs> <laughs> how's New York going? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's. Uh, I was only there for like five days. Okay. And then I had to come back here for. I was only there for like four days. So it was more of a vacation. You didn't so know stand up either. So I really liked it. I did no stand up while I was up there. You just did you just like you just, just went up there, stuff? established my shit. Yeah, I did the bonfire on Wednesday. That oh, was so pretty you did fun. a podcast. Yeah, I did. Well, I wouldn't call it a podcast. I'd call it Comedy Central Radio on Sirius Ooh, XM. Ooh, didn't know. Very nice. Wasn't slamming. Why don't you give me some fucking put respect on it? <laughs> uh, That's fucking tight. Though. No, Big Big Jay Ogerson was filming his Netflix special, so they Tapped they were, in like, the boy, they were dude. like, yeah, we need a we need a co host. You hired the devil's double, dude. Here he comes. <laughs> Here comes big Shane Okerson. <laughs> and uh, no, it was so fun. I mean, me and Soda are pretty, like, we were pretty good. Yeah. Similar sense of humor. So we were allowed to just fuck around. Yeah. Like, it was basically like, yeah, it would exactly. be like you yeah. and me. You know the guy. Going on and just being like, oh, like talking well, shit. Well, it's weird when you first start doing podcasts and you're essentially doing podcasts with people you don't know at all. And it's like, that was always weird to me. Yeah, if you don't know anyone, it's it's tough to... Get a good like we were we yeah. were making fun of this dog that got eaten by a crocodile. Yeah, yeah. And it was the funniest thing I've ever. Yeah, that's awesome. Ever seen? The and dog got eaten by a crocodile, too, right? Stephen. Yeah, I've is it live? Been... Yeah, it's live. That's always fun as fuck, though. Yeah. What's fun yeah, yeah. about that? What's fun about it? Yeah. Yeah, you're just fucking around. Juices, dude. You get it going. Hey, no, no, wait, wait. Uh, the, with the video itself? Oh, oh. On, oh the, the do- explain the circumstances. What happened? All right, so it was a crocodile. It was in Australia, and. This guy who owned like a restaurant or something that people would come watch him feed this crocodile that he named Casey. He would throw chicken off his deck and the crocodile would come up and eat it. And then when the crocodile was supposedly full, he would send down his little terrier dog, this little Yorkie named Pippa. And it would run and bite the crocodile and chase it back into the water. Uh, and the crocodile's huge. Yeah. And this is a little dog like biting its tail and barking at it. And it right. runs away. So it was like this fun trick that everybody loved. And this Australian dude would do it all the time, like daily, for 10 years. 10 years, this fucking Pippa was biting Casey the crocodile. Yeah. And then one day, old Casey <laughs> okay. had enough. But the audio, it's it, you would think it's sad until you hear an Australian dude... It's like, oh, go get it, Pippa. No! <laughs> it's so fucking funny. It's so like, funny oh, boy. oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> the dog just goes straight into the water. It is pretty funny. And then funny. It just, the, it's, it's just placid. The water, like, Pippa's just gone. Like, it's literally an just instant. Just one little just bubble pop where, there's, where those guys just stand on his deck with a bunch of people behind him like, oh. Oh, my God, like, all right. Dude. I mean, imagine how what of an asshole you look like yeah, after you're, you're doing this trick there. and someone just comes out to watch an alligator eat a dog. <laughs> oh. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> and navigating those emotions, your dog just got eaten? Yeah. Yeah, but... I mean, he, I, he again, it's his. He can't... He can't... I mean, you hate... Of course, you're devastated, but you gotta be like... You gotta not love your dog that's that my much, fault. though, to train yeah, your dog to bite definitely, crocodiles. Definitely, yeah. Like, if... See that Finny sleeping over there on that bed? If anything happened to him, I'd be... 
Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Devastated. Like, try I would to never. To bite a crocodile. I would never. I was watching him go after those mouse traps yesterday. I yeah. was worried. He's breaking your heart. No, I didn't. Last thing I want is that dog to get hurt. Yeah. But yeah, that guy didn't love that dog. He didn't love that dog, dude. He didn't love Pippa. No, Pippa. Pippa was a fucking tool. Pippa, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been saying that. Like any instant of something going wrong, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> Pippa, no. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it was fun. New York was fun. And living with uh, Tommy Pope is, is an experience. Sure he's a fun. he's a fucking animal. Dude. He's a rootin' tootin' dude. He is a he's fucking... He's a hot-blooded American, dude. He he's really he is, is, man. He Holy shit. Is. He's got the digest- he's, like, he's got like a 1950s dad digestive system. He literally like- is like an old timey boxer. <laughs> he is, the way dude. he exists is like, <laughs> what he's fucking he's nutting constantly. That's awesome. He not dude. He told me he jerks off like. He's a fucking he rips nuts. Does he really? Yeah, I mean I don't know if I should be exposing him right here, but yeah, he's a good, it's he's funny. A strong yeah, he sex talk drive. about it. He's his sex drive through the roof. Then he's fucking, he works out like hard every day, and then he gets drunk. He's and then man. he wakes up and fucking works out hard. And then jerks off. Dude. And then jerks off. He's, dude, he's a machine, dude. <laughs> but then he cooks and he's got a fucking, there's a greenhouse in our backyard what? that they're like growing tomatoes and fucking strawberries and basil, like all this shit. Damn, dude. So yeah, they're like cooking with like real vegetables and shit. It's wild. They're cooking with real vegetables. It's, they're like grown. It's they're fucking growing crazy. Themselves. Yeah. That's fucking wild. There's a greenhouse in your place? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big fucking place. I thought it was going to be real small. I thought I was living in a hallway. It's like a regular size bedroom. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted about it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Especially going into it. I was just expecting like a small little apartment. I was expecting hell. I mean, I had been there, so I should have remembered. But <laughs> yeah, it was it was great. And the McKeever's been up there. Nice. We, had, we had a nice dinner the other night. Ooh. Like a full fucking cooked all night. making oh. this. It was magical. Nice. That's, so, that's a good fucking start, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York was it was yeah. it was more of a vacation though. Once I start living up there, it'll. I already ran into some trouble. You did. I ran, bumped it, I bumped into like some. What? Well, like day one, I fought my roommate for he was being gay and liberal. <laughs> <laughs> he brought a fucking. This is this is one of the things I wanted to, to yeah. delete from yesterday because I'm shitting on my new roommate. But uh, he brought a fucking book to the bar. Me and Tommy were at the bar, and he met us there with a book. And I was like, "What? what is that? <laughs> and it was a fucking, it was like a book about white people being the devil. It was like a black lady writing about police brutality. Mm-hmm. All right. It's like, dude, fucking give it a rest. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you bringing that here? Yeah, it's strange. And then it sure. just, it, it, it turned into a... We ended up fighting about gender being a social construct for <laughs> three hours. Reading a book in a public space like that and, like... Staring at myself in the mirror in a public bathroom, it's the same feeling. Like someone seeing me do either, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a it's something I can't really describe, but I, I hear that and I'm adverse to it. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, it was just. It's almost as if, like I said, you're just like staring at a book and all of a sudden a girl's like, What are you reading? And you're like, Oh, uh, blah, yeah, exactly. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's what it is. It's like <laughs> I knew a guy that would do that specifically to <laughs> um, attract women to talk to him. Yeah. And I mean, it's like you're not you're clearly not gonna digest the information. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how that works. If I'm doing that specifically to have a woman talk to me, then I can't, that's all I'm thinking about. Exactly. I mean, no words are no. Yeah. I might start reading Fifty Shades of Grey in a bar, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just be like, oh, I just flip the page. Yeah, get a book on like <laughs> just be the, visibly hard in sweatpants and just be like, oh nice. Just bring the Kama Sutra. <laughs> yeah. Just bring the Kama Sutra to an Irish pub and sit in the corner of the bar and just wait, dude. Just wait. <laughs> But, uh, Let's wait for drunk 50 year olds be like, yeah, Kate, huh? And I flip yeah. the page. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this? Oh, this? Book? I'm reading How to Eat Your Pussy Upside Down. <laughs> <laughs> the Eastern ways of eating pussy. <laughs> but uh, and then uh, I woke up and I saw his room. The next morning I woke up a little groggy. He had a cup, you know, I felt bad. You were one eye in the apartment? Yeah, I was like looking around. And then I saw in his room there's like this calendar, this giant two-year calendar uh 16 and 17 and other comics had placed bets it was a trump impeachment betting mm. pool yeah, yeah. yeah. corny as fuck right yeah yeah, yeah. i mean well, it's something to do was, you know but no but right. get this then on the side of it it had the rules so it was ten dollars to place a bet on a date the mm. closest date gets i think it was like 50 percent of the winnings and the other 50% is donated to the ACLU. 
And then if Trump doesn't get impeached, all the all the you know everything goes to the ACLU. Yeah. And this is all. And this is wall. just this is just local New York comics. This is fucking open mic comics. Yeah. Think that, of that. Think of that saying, at the open mic being like, oh, let's fill this out. I mean, <laughs> that calendar's like a, it just seems like a, a fungal spawn of the environment. It's like now that yeah, thing's yeah, on yeah. this wall and it's like, oh, God. Yeah. So I was looking at that just like. nightmare. <laughs> it's, like, it's not him because he's great. He really is. Yeah, I like yeah. the dude. Yeah, he is great. And he is smart and he's just, you know, he's just a product, I mean, it's product one, of his environment. It's, that's like one step away from having like a Fight Club poster on your wall. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing my fucking Don't Tread on Me an American flag. <laughs> I'm hanging hang those up. up. 100. He's going to have to walk through that. How's he going to deal with your patriotic decor? He's not going to be excited. <laughs> he's going to be he, he can be patriotic. Who? This guy. I know, but he I mean, is edgy a lot liberals, of people... Edgy liberals tend to be patriotic. Warmongers. They are war hawks, and they're trying to get, fight Russia. <laughs> For some reason, edgy liberals in this country want to fight Russia. We should yeah. let our, our edgy liberals fight Russia. We should like, let them storm, get them. storm the beaches. <laughs> go get them, guys. <laughs> in the north. They can, yeah, that'd be great. All right. So, Steve. Yeah. What's going on with you, dude? No, so, Fuck well, us. I Fuck was gonna... me and Matt, dude. We're so we're both fat, fucking gay <laughs> retards, so dude. I'm so fucking fat right I'm now, dude. So You're fat, not dude. fat. You're I, looking yoked, dude. dude new I I told my uh, I told my jujitsu instructor I was trying to lose 15 pounds, and he goes, "All right, man." And today, just like I was, everyone was up and like jogging back to the space after they're done. I'm the last person doing the weird stuff up the mat. I'm like. I'm the fattest one in this class. <laughs> well, what are you doing? What are you eating? Because I thought you were, uh, you were eating I like... eat pretty healthy, man. I just yeah. eat like a fucking pig, dude. Gotcha. Just like... I just... I was thinking about this yesterday. Like, I saw Honey Nut Cheerios on top of my fridge. They, I saw eat them that whole the, box. I saw them... Dude, I mean... And like, I get the big family size. So eat like, the whole fucking box, I dude. see them out of the corner of my eye. Before I even know what I'm doing, I have the Cheerios and I'm pouring myself a bowl and I'm like... It's almost like... Yeah. Sapien vision of like seeing fruit in a tree and it's like, oh, sweet thing. I, I come here. It's like I'm directly <laughs> And the right sugar here. in that is insane. I know. Really? I, yeah, there's in, a in lot cereals, of sugar. like even raisin bread. Oh, it's, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking this today. I was like, I don't know why people even swallow desserts. It's like just chew them up and spit them out. <laughs> <laughs> there's no benefit in like actually consuming that. them. I mean, it's kind of bulimic. It's like lightly bulimic, but I used to do it when I was younger. When I was younger, I used to like eat a dessert and just go and spit it out. So I'm like, I don't need to swallow this. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's like, why not just, I'm like, it's not going to do me any benefit by like, like, I don't know why you have to consume it and like make it part of yourself. Just chew it up, taste it, go. That's why I dip. Why? That's what chewing tobacco is, dude. It's just a sweet treat. It's a sweet treat? Uh Uh-huh. This is citrus blend. That's true. That's, I don't understand why you have to like eat a Reese's cup. You can chew it up and just like let it kind of melt and just spit it. I don't know. I think it, I think it feels good. Why do you slide down your throat? That's what I was wondering. Like. So it's like the people oh, really yeah. like. Is it like? Do you like swallowing candy too? Being like, <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, what are you talking like, about? Like, why do you just swallow a piece of cake? Just chew it up and enjoy. I the mean, taste these of are it. these are the questions of the ages that you're asking. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> why do we have to swallow Reese's? <laughs> <laughs> it's like you spit it the fuck out. All right, Steve. What's going? <laughs> well, anyway. so, well, I was going to talk <laughs> to you guys. Spit the fuck uh, out. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't know how interesting this will be, but so the Anthony Bourdain thing. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't really know uh, of him too much. Like I knew of him by name, mm-hmm. but my brother and I were talking about that. And it's kind of one of those things that I had my reaction to that in a very narcissistic way is like almost a hair of relief. Not about that. He's not him in particular. So it's not that you I don't want to. I don't want to have to be had a lot of dirt on the Clintons. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think no, no, he probably no. did. Let me just say, <laughs> I don't want anybody to kill themselves. I'm very unhappy that he killed himself. I don't, that, that's a tragedy. But sure. it reaffirms this thing where it's like, no matter how much you think something's going to make you happy in the future, it's just not. You're saying he reaffirmed your hypothesis. Correct. That's, I, mean, I wish that's, I could take it back and say it the well, way you just well, phrased it. I don't know. Maybe I hear what he was saying. what? He was what? 61 or 51? 61. 61. 61. Yeah. All right. So he lived a pretty fucking wild, good life. Yes. So I don't know. Maybe suicide at that age. The happiness thing. I mean, I'm sure he was upset when he killed himself, but he I mean, was probably he was happy. He was also on Chantex, too. Dude, I'm telling you, these drugs, dude. Chantex is that shit you take to quit smoking, and apparently, it, like, really fucks up with your. It really messes with your pleasure re- pleasure receptors, and like, it's one of those like suicidal ideation may occur. Okay. But but he's also 
Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, he, I don't like, know. Sometimes I think you can. This is I don't know. I could be way off here, but the happiness thing. He could have still had a pretty fucking great life, and just no. Steve's saying that just, just clocked out. Steve's saying that he had a thing being like no matter how what level of success you attain, it you know it's not every it's not the end all be all and it right yeah Something yeah like well that. if you have this underlying condition which he had yeah you know he was like addicted to drugs for a long yep. time. Um, it's not going away. And for me, I and Matt and I had talked about this, like I'm so prone to fantasizing and I've been doing that since I was like, you know, 20 about my career. Yeah. It was always just like fantasizing about, you know, what, mm-hmm. I would be famous or I'll be yeah. on this show and then everything, suddenly I'll be like the Tommy Pope of, you know, just <laughs> like fucking people. You know, you know what I mean? Well, you know, I, 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 was, I, would, I, I, was, I wasn't talking about fucking people. I was talking about Tommy jacking off. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, whatever. Tommy His Pope jacking off, a success off like level of that kind. You want to be the like, Tommy Pope of jacking off. Well, let me just keep going. So <laughs> then, 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 then we get to that. And he wanted the whole kit and caboodle, dude. Money, pussy, power, dude. But I'm just saying that it, it's, clear, it's clear that those problems need to be addressed yes. now. Yeah. And that... That was just would never make it go away. No. I, I got exactly what you're saying. I know what you're saying. And you were saying his death, a, a positive you got out of that was like, yep. Yeah. Because, I mean, I, 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 I can imagine what Shane's potentially saying, which is like, you're just fulfilled. You're still happy, but you go, well, I have nothing else to do, so I'm going to kill yeah, myself. Like Hemingway eating that shotgun. But I, I don't... I, well, I don't know enough about that particular case, but yeah, I, I'm I sure mean, he was pretty like, bummed out. I feel out. like <laughs> if he was on some sort of like, uh, yeah, yeah, but I'm, still I take hanging back. yourself's a yeah. sad. It's, it's not it's like a, a, I've seen a, enough. Let me fucking yeah, brutally yeah, yeah. hang yeah, yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. I do take back any. I, I doubt there's been too many. Ha- like, you know what? It's been a good life. Right, Hunter, <laughs> so Hunter, Hunter S. Thompson. He apparently like said like I'm gonna shoot myself the day I turn whatever and went out and. But I think he had. He was losing his mind. Yeah, he was definitely having his fucking skull. There was I was reading a book uh, about this robber Jack Black. It's a book called You Can't Win, and I'm sure he gave it to me. And it's this guy in like the 30s and basically 20s to 40s who went around and was like a burglar, and it's like was a house thief, stole uh, like shit from like like a safe cracker and all that stuff. Yeah. And he eventually, you know, he, it's like an autobiography, but he goes legit, and they they talk about like in the afterward of like how like he got paid to write for Hollywood after that. He was like, he was doing all this stuff, you know, he had a pretty good life and uh, he told people like, if I don't, if I start feeling like shitty or, you know, if I, if I turn a certain age, I'm going to tie weights to myself and jump into a river. And then one day he just disappeared. No one's ever seen him since. So it's like, yeah, he was doing pretty well. Okay. So then there goes my hypothesis. Maybe. No, it's not, no, I'm yeah. just saying it's the same thing. It's like this guy, you know, he did everything you could possibly do. And he, at the end of it, he was like, man, eh, just fucking killed himself. I'm not, I'm not attacking your hypothesis. I'm saying I'm just... I thought I was reinforcing it, but I guess it wasn't. I just want to say the guy put weights on himself and jumped in a river. I thought yeah. it was pretty cool. <laughs> that's a, that's, a good way that's the whole point of that. This is, that's actually probably a horrific way to go. Yeah. That but so uh, I, uh, I had a... I was talking to Matt also too, then trying to address this anxiety issue because I got mm-hmm. very bad anxiety and it's, it tends to be in like very specific areas. Mm-hmm. So... Like a large indoor open places is just like mayhem for me. Like Be- Target, Walmart? Yeah. The yeah, mall, like 30, dude. 30th Street. Yeah, the, the mall, mall fucking kills me. I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. There's but- something about not getting, being able to get purchase on the sound around you where it's all kind of ambient, but it's all there and everything yeah. feels very far away. Um, well, you know what I bug out about? About how many strangers we have to deal with all the time. It's like you're not really meant to. You're, you're, you're supposed to be in like a little village of like 40 people you've known forever. Yeah. And we, you, pretty, you deal with like 80% strangers. So you're like, who the fuck's that guy? Who the fuck's that guy? He's, oh, wow. If you see one person you know in public, you're like, holy fuck. So that's weird. Yeah. That's something I bug out about. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I don't know any of these motherfuckers. <laughs> you got to move to a small town. I would love to. Yeah. Eventually. But yeah, I, I, stranger danger, dude. You got to watch out for that. Yeah. You can move to a small town and kill yourself. That's not a bad. I'll just sink into a fucking be like, well, I know everyone here. <laughs> They're all going to miss me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I but did. No, I, dude, I used to get anxiety a lot, man. It's fucking, it sucks. And so I get this book called Dare, which uh, is, is silly, but it's a lot of what you talked about mm-hmm. insofar as the general idea is you want to go towards the anxiety as opposed to trying to control it. Yeah. And so that was something 
What? Oh, Finn's. Finn Man. Yeah. He does, I'm sorry. Our, my dog is on my bed in the in the studio. Looking absolutely and adorable. He whenever he lays down, he like tries to like pull blankets underneath yeah, yeah. him. And uh, it's, it's so, pretty great to watch. Yeah, I like watching dogs get comfortable. Yeah. But, anyways, yeah, but anyways, sorry. just that little switch uh, was was pretty uh, big because that, <laughs> every time I'd start to feel the feelings come on, dizzy or I can't breathe or yeah. you know derealization, things don't feel. I'm just desperately trying to get control of it, like mm-hmm. thinking about my breathing, thinking about this. And the idea with this book was, you no, know, you want to run at those sensations. So. Yeah. Cheesy as it sounds, like if you're feeling your chest tightness, you're like, all right, well, make my chest tighter. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to pass out. Yeah. Let's just do it. Yeah. And that's kind of what you talked about, although he doesn't mm-hmm. recommend, like, the taking CBD to the you freak well, out. Well, I'll just smoke weed. Oh, I'll just get right. as so, high as possible, and then I'd be, like, you know, right in that spot of, like, everything's wrong. Oh, my God. And just, just weather it out, dude. Weather out the Stormy Daniels. <laughs> and so, and, and at the end of the day, what he says is, like, it's not about, you, it'll never go away. You know, it's just about how you interact with those sensations mm-hmm. when they do arise. Yeah. And that they're very normal. Yeah, it's, it is funny to think about when you have a panic attack. It's just, you're like in a party and it's just you. There's a dude who's so in his head that he's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. It's just, <laughs> right? it's just this pure thing of like, whatever you're talking about to yourself, and you're like, I need to go outside, dude. This is too fucked up. Yeah. It's funny how you have like a slight, like a, a just like a Windows error. You're just like, oh God, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, because I, I walked to the acne, I like, couldn't go in the acne, mm-hmm. and it was like sitting there, like kind of pacing, like scratching my head. Yeah. And people and, walking by, probably you know, like, nobody knows, but it's like I'm having such trouble going to pick up eye drops. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, just a storm. Dude, I used to do when I, I used to have like a, a, a. I was convinced I was having a heart. I was like, I'm gonna have a heart attack because my heart had like a weird arrhythmia. Yeah. Definitely gonna have a heart attack, and like I would go to the treadmill and I had to like. It's, I'd watch the heart rate monitor and it would just like and if it hit like triple digits I'd be like oh god and I would just get off the treadmill I would do like a minute <laughs> on the treadmill and get off and then like go do another thing and be like oh I gotta take a break and pe- I would I must have looked like a psycho at the gym for like six months yeah. but I got out of it you know I did a little more every day and this is back when you had a ponytail yeah dude I, so that you was must like, have looked like a that was real me com- psycho that was me coming out of it that was me conquering my health anxiety the whole time I grew my hair it was pretty much it was like two years and, uh, Good you should for grow, you. grow it back yeah, out. Man, now grow you, it back now out. Now jiu-jitsu, dude. Now it's the same thing with a heart attack. You're like, I'm going to have a heart attack. And I'm just like, dude, bring on the big one, dude. Hook me up to the machines. Let's do it. And, dude, I, I stopped. Have you gotten deep, like that derealization feeling? Deep, a depersonalization? Yeah. Yeah. Have you gotten that, Shane? What's that? It's just like reality starts to feel more like a dream. Like you can't tell. Is this real? Is this not? Yeah. It just starts to feel very weird. Like you get so anxious that every... It's almost like you were like... Almost like cinematic in a way, where you're like walking. If you're walking through a bunch of people, it almost feels like like you're in a music video. Almost like yeah, it's weird. And he he described it in the in the book. He was saying that now I don't know whether this is true or not, but the, his theory is that your brain is being is so focused on let's say your heartbeat yeah. or your breathing that the, all that other information is still coming in, but it's just being processed different because you're so focused on the other thing. Whoa! So then it just seems very weird. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, but the larger point is that everybody feels it, so it's like because yeah. when you're experiencing that for the first time, you're like, I'm seeing through something here. <laughs> yeah, because your vis- my vision will get fuzzy. i would be in a place yeah. my vision gets fuzzy. I'm kind of tingly, and I'm just like, oh boy, something bad's happening. You yeah. know, then you just bug the fuck out. Yeah, that's you get that. I mean, I I don't know about fuzzy. I get like a little loss of focus. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense with yeah. your eyes? Like it seems like it's out of yeah. I don't know. When you I bug know. out too hard. Yeah, I've had that. I've had that since I was like a kid. What? Bugging out? Yeah, like, I don't know. You're I, talking I, about when you stare at something for a long time? No, uh, it's tough to describe. Yeah. I don't know how to. You try yeah. to articulate your subconscious. Yeah, thank you. But, uh, yeah, anxiety. I mean, I, I, have no, I have no plan of attack. I'm just. You just, just clutch on the just blankets? I'm just fucking riding the wave. Well, yeah. Do you get like hard? I, I would get like hard out of the blue life anxiety out of nowhere. Do you think you're just getting yeah? I get that. Hangover? I get that real bad. Just a like a look down the well where you're just like, Ugh. yeah. What I get does that. it feel like? What do you? It just feels like if if I have it's all about stand up. Okay. That's all it is. Like but if it, I if I don't have shows or if I don't have anything good for a while, I I'm all fucking yeah. I'm like my life is a fucking failure. Yeah. Which is yeah. a frustrating point to be in because it is it is something you would need to worry about. 
Yeah, but then it's 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 almost bipolar because then I'll do something like I did last week, and I'm like, holy shit, dude! <laughs> Everything's going well. Oh, this did, is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah you did the bonfire. Yeah, that. and then you know, a week of not really doing anything. Like last night, I was doing Philly's funniest competition. Yep. I'm just in the green room talking to a fucking weirdo after weirdo. Like, oh my god! Yeah. Like I was tired during stand up. And yeah. that's a weird. That's a weird thing. Well, Normally, I'm excited and happy to be there. Or like, I think it's a good gauge though of your, I would say, uptick since now you're in helium and you're like, Jesus Christ, get me the fuck out. You know what I mean? Yeah, almost yeah, like yeah. this is fucking. Boring. But it's almost also where, like, remember how stoked that you were like a year before, being like, oh, I'm hosting the funniest. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Now you're like, Jesus Christ, this fucking thing. So that's that's a good sign almost. Yeah, and it's exhausting to have conversations with people that you're not interested I in talking. Dude, oh my you god. Both, that was the only time I used to always give people shit when they would be like. Doing stand up and like I'm just working like talking about stand up and I'm like dude shut up. I remember uh, someone did that one time. I think it was Thruso. He was like he hosted all night and then they were like you want to host the Dirty Dozen. He was like I'm too tired. I remember just being like what the fuck do you mean you're too tired? But then when you host Philly's Funniest back to back, you bring all those people up, do twenty to thirty minutes, bring all those people up, another thirty minutes. By the end of that night, I was like fucking. Yeah, drained. last night I was fucking beat. Yeah, that's when I was like oh I guess I could see how you. And I was tired. drinking too, which that normally Ooh. helps. That normally really? helps me like having fun. Yeah. But I was just tired. I was sitting there just like, holy shit. Dude. And because for those of you who don't know, Philly's Funniest Competition, the first round, any, anybody can sign up. Yeah. Literally anybody. Yeah. So there's people that are doing stand up for like the first time or mm-hmm. have done it for the first time in like the last three months. It's a, so you're sitting back there with people that are like asking you the dumbest yeah. fucking questions, talking to you, saying shit that like. I don't know. It's tough to explain. You're, you're also encountering like extremely self deluded people. Yeah, and someone who does like their first stand up show, their whole family's there, everyone laughs in their head. They're like, it's like talking to like Justin Timberlake. They're back there in their heads, being like, "I'm totally gonna be famous." You're yeah. Just watching, like, no, you're not. And it's and a <laughs> no, lot of it's not. like I've had these thoughts that you're yeah. telling me right now. I had the same feeling seven years ago. Yeah. So like everything you're telling me, I've I've already hated that about myself. <laughs> That I ever thought that what you're saying to me. And now you're watching that. Now I'm watching someone be like, so how do you like, how do you like come up with stuff like on the fly like that when you're up there? Like, what, what do you do to write? Yeah. And I'm sitting there just like, shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's your name? How do I say your yeah, weird how last name? How do I name? say your last name? God, that's so fucking funny. You're going to bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and there's people that I'll know are going to bomb so oh, yeah. bad that like I'll, I'll like introduce them and then just walk right out of the Anyone, green room so I can watch them bomb. When you host... When I hosted the Phillies Funniest, anyone who was staring in a mirror and reciting their sight to themselves, their set to themselves, always bombed. Guaranteed. That was my rule. That's my as strong as my taking a shit in a Home Depot bathroom. Every time you go to Home Depot bathroom, someone's taking a shit. Yeah. Every time I'm, I'm like a hundred for a hundred on that one. <laughs> I'm like six for six. I'm like any guy who'd be like in the mirror yeah. like practicing, I'd be like, oh dude, you're about to go out there and fucking eat it. Yeah, it's 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 a guarantee. <laughs> Anytime you're taking stand up that seriously, yeah, and reciting it, it's like it's gonna suck. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty bad. Because what happens is when they recite it verbatim like that, that you include when you write it like talking mm-hmm. as if you're not reciting something. Yeah. So there's words in there that are like. So anyway. Like, I was at the grocery store. What's with the grocery store? Uh, yeah. And it, it doesn't come out natural at all. So no, it's everybody sucks. in the room's like, this is weird. You know? Yeah, for sure. It's a mom spaghetti sort of M&M thing. Yeah. Then, but, yeah, yeah. but it just doesn't translate. No. But, um, so Steven, yeah. you have a talk coming up. You don't want to talk about that, do you? Well, no. I mean, I, 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 I talked about it last time, you know. Um, yeah, but no one remembers. No. <laughs> um... <laughs> It was, yeah, so there's a talk coming up. There's a date to still be to be uh, determined. Yeah, but it's a talk about how we make progress as humans and the reach of human progress, which mm-hmm. I'll argue is unbounded. And uh, oh, so we're going to space? Sure, if we, if we choose to, it doesn't guarantee that we will, but we can. Nice. We are. I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought if you wanted to, we could. I, I could maybe argue out like a um, potential middle ground on the Jordan Peterson thing, if what's you wanted middle, to have that conversation. Ground? Well, well, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, let's take a yeah. Let's take a, let's take a break. How far into this? Are Forty-five we? minutes. What are you guys doing right now? Take a break. It's one one thirteen. 
What you gotta do, Steve? Uh, nothing. You wanna start over? Y- yeah, if you want to. If you want to. Sure. We're back, dude. All right. You just quelled our doubting Shane, dude. Yeah, my my weekly fucking we should delete this was <laughs> voted down. So <laughs> literally every episode, midway through, I'm yeah. like, what are we at time wise? Because we should delete this. Once we hit forty, I'm like, it's in the bank. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this this has been pretty enjoyable. Steve, um, you were saying. Steve. So Steve, who is now standing. Yes. Oh, you are. Wow. I didn't even look. Are you yeah. Well, it's a metal chair. Yeah. And uh, you know I've got hemorrhoids, and so what I, what I was gonna say, what I was gonna say about you, this? Does your ass start burning after a while, like sitting down, or you, it just, it's not burning? Just like I get, I get. You're saying you're like preparing yourself for like the wipe later. It's not even the wipe; it's just like general discomfort. Okay, cool. That means I don't have uh, hemorrhoids. Cause I, I kind of thought I had them for a while. You got bloody butt. I had a little. I was just getting a sore ass, but I was eating lots of hot food and like wiping my yeah, ass. Yeah, that's all. Hey, you'll know when you got hemorrhoids. Right. Yeah, yeah, my fucking yeah. bitch ass girlfriend was trying to say I had hemorrhoids. I'm like, I don't think I have them. You fucking girlfriend. So you're telling me they just like hurt while you're walking and stuff. Yeah, but you might have if she's got a good eye on it, which it sounds oh. like she does. <laughs> she might see a couple bumps in there. Doctor Steve Gerben, noted <laughs> noted Jew and hemorrhoid sufferer. <laughs> I tried to get on the jury duty because of hemorrhoids. I, I uh, emailed my doctor, my general care doctor, and I was like, uh, so can I get a, a letter? Because I, I haven't brought this up to you, but I have very, very bad hemorrhoids. <laughs> but I thought it was like more normal to try and get out of jury duty. She did not respond to my email. Bro, you don't have to go to jury duty. Yeah, you do. No, you, dude, I've never been in my life. But, but that's, you, you do. You totally don't have to go. All right, well, you, whatever. You, you, I, you like to go? You, well, I, I don't want that on duty. my... Yeah. Are you hitting me with civic duty stuff? Yeah, but you were trying to get out. Yes, for a medical. I was trying to get like legal <laughs> legal exemption. I've never been to jury duty. But you duty. were trying to get out just because you didn't want to go? Or you Precisely. legitimately didn't want your... your I, I legitimately didn't want to go. Plus, I didn't want to sit in a chair all day, yeah. which was probably going to be wood. It's going to fuck your ass up. Definitely. Have you ever been to jury duty? No. I've never been asked to go. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they've summoned me a couple times. It, it, my mail and you goes just to don't my, go. It goes to my mom's house or my parents' house. Yeah, that's be, that's illegal. My mom, so you, it's cool on your record or something, there. huh? That's on your record. No, well, what the fuck's he applying my, for? My no, my clearances are fine. Okay. Oh yeah, dude. I'm all, cause it goes to my mom's house, so it's or my mom's the one who gets my mail. So it's on your so, mom, dude. So it's like, you know, it, it, we might not talk, and if we didn't talk, I would never know I had jury duty. And if no one ever listens to this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to go. You could totally throw it out. They don't like send people. They don't send like I a general. I just don't think you can. Totally you can. All right. Well, live in proof. Let's just agree to disagree on that. Yeah. You just gotta be a patriot, dude. You gotta stand your ground, like Still, Matt. Yeah, I just occupy my house, dude. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but go uh, ahead. About, so, your, about so your butthole. Hemorrhoids is a very serious condition. That's right, and that's why I was uh, I was saying that I think that this is something that children should be taught. About hemorrhoids. Yes. If you're going to do sex education, you just have like 15 minutes where you go, don't strain when you poop. When you lift things, suck you know, your asshole in. So is that what hemorrhoids are from? Pushing too hard? Yeah. yeah. Or like you know, if you squat and you're, you're not tight down there. If like you, you got a loose like, ass. Yeah. For real? Yeah. You get them. You got loose ass? I don't want it on hemorrhoids. You got tight butt. <laughs> I had fucking... Steve, what are you doing to your ass that your butt's so loose? Well, old guys get hemorrhoids too. Oh, yeah, geezers get, you get it. He- don't you get hemis? Yeah, I've got hemis. Well, so what are you? Are you pushing too hard, bro? Yeah, I, dude, I push farts all day. <laughs> well, you I can't push... get hemis from pushing farts. Yeah, though. you can. Really? Yeah, it's from pushing out of your ass. Is it push hair in your ass tissue? No, no. no. It's, a, it's like a... Turkeys. Isn't it like a vein? It's like, yeah, it's, it's like a vein that's popping out. Oh, really? From when you push too hard. Bump. Yeah. And it can bleed too, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and so, like, sucks. even if you're doing sit-ups and you're just straining, then that, that'll get it. So that's how I get it from, like, doing any sort of, like, physical activity. Because I don't remember to, like, clench as if I'm sucking in a poop. Well, honestly, though... I nobody who's I've lifted for a long time and never made an effort to clench my asshole. You might be doing it naturally though. True. Yeah. Because it's such like a fucking masculine activity. <laughs> you might, yeah, you, might be, just you might have your butthole clench all the time and you don't know it. No, but I get it from ripping hard farts for sure. I thought show. you get them just for like having a dirty ass and then dumping too hard. No, it's not from dirty ass. So just from pushing. It has know. nothing to do with cleanliness. Wow. And I'm fat, so that's another contributor. Why, why do you get I don't know fat? if fat people get hemorrhoids. It's more like weight on it, on your... 
I don't know. All my weight is centered on my asshole. <laughs> what's, what's your, <laughs> that thing's what's just your blowing fat, out. Once your belly fat covers your dick, you get hemorrhoids. You get hemorrhoids immediately. <laughs> I mean, that definitely. The correlation there, I mean, that's not the cause, but I guarantee anybody whose belly hangs over their dick definitely has It's like the last it. pedal in Beauty and the Beast. Once you get full fucking, like, once you get a full eclipse of the gut, dude. <laughs> my, my dad, when I told him I had hemorrhoids once, he was so happy. Why? Because he knew how much that hurt me. <laughs> He was laughing so hard. <laughs> it was just like because I had it. I mean, I've only had it like bad once. Yeah, where what like happens it when hurt. You have it? it hurt to shit, like so bad. Oh, do you ever have them that yes, bad? Yes, yes. Yeah, dude. Where it like you feel sick. It hurts that bad. Okay, I definitely yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. these. Yeah, yeah. I God. mean, I only had it like that once. Still, but what were you eating like? I have no idea. I have no idea. But it's like an boy, ass migraine. Hemorrhoids is. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you're you're exactly right, Steve. The public it's it's such a shameful problem to have. So That's true. they should teach that. Yeah, because you do. That. You feel gross. Yeah. yeah. Does it feel anything like having? It, so it's nothing. Doesn't feel like dirty ass. It just feels. It's like not like dirty ass. Gaping it, sore. Well, it can it's feel like gaping. that. Like small ones can feel like a real itch. Yeah, they itch. Yeah, they Ooh. itch like crazy. Yeah, you get itchy butthole. Man, I thought my here I was thinking my butthole was a, a total fucking get, rainforest. Can you get them from wiping too hard? I don't know. Or is that just bloody ass? That's probably bloody ass. Do you, yeah. you, so you guys are... I wipe too hard a front lot. Front to back wipers or back to front? Front to back. I'm back to front. That's probably why. Uh, I just dab mine like a pastel, dude, like a watercolorist. <laughs> you always have a dirty ass, though. No, it's been pretty good lately. Well, now that you've... Well, now you've, that I have a... a so, a, I... I, a butt I <laughs> this, is, this is my thing on the whole, like, ass wiping scenario. <laughs> The, the, this is insanity. What, what what people do with their assholes? That there's no soap involved. Yes. Because if I came if I came over and I shat on the floor, <laughs> yeah. and you said Steve, clean that up, and I just took a paper towel and just wiped it to where you couldn't see it anymore. Yeah, but you're you'd be right. like, get some fucking disinfectant. <laughs> and true. spray that fucking ground, and yet that's all that yeah, happens to the asshole. No, that's totally when different. I. It's that's, just that's not. It's no, just it not. Is, it is. Because the look, ground wait, isn't. So do you use, do you use nah. like Clorox? No, it's just like not. It is I I when I was <laughs> when I was like thirteen. <laughs> Sit down, dude. No. <laughs> God. He's still standing He's up. Standing up dude. When I was thirteen, what happened to fucking uh, way leaning into your problems, dude? You got to lean into this hemorrhoid. <laughs> oh boy, when, that hurt. When I was when I was thirteen, it's like a hardcore match. ECW, ECW. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy so, oh man. Okay, I'm 13. I've just taken a shower. I sit down on the side of my bed. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not cold. <laughs> Steel chair to the hemorrhoids. Oh, God. So, start painting this picture. So, you you got the towel around your waist. You got the towel around your waist. He's got a family. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just out of the shower. Just out of the shower. Fresh you out. Yeah. And I was never taught to wipe my ass. Nobody was, dude. No, uh, for whatever reason, and I've yelled at my mom about this. Like, why would you not? This should be the first. Like, take something, stick it up your ass. No, she was probably like, you can figure that out. That's what she said. She was like, you'd figure it out. I never figured yeah. it out. So either, I'm 13. I'm sitting there. I had, I felt an itch in my crack. I'm just fresh out the shower. I scratch it. I do it like that monkey in that viral video. <laughs> yeah, you always I smell, smell it. it. It's just exactly. pure. Yeah green ass shit oh my and god I, and I, I was just and then I, then I started to get like obsessed with like cleaning my ass after that <laughs> because Steve, it's mortifying dude, what are you doing so anyway <laughs> the fact that people just wipe and stop there is insane where do you take it to so here's what I do right. I go uh, I have a don't system. pet my dog <laughs> With your fucking ass hands. Well, my complete. I'm cleaner than you. No, you're There's not. no fecal matter on me. I just me. showered and wiped my asshole out. Well, what, do you, what do you think about people Get taking a dog. shit while on their cell phone and like wiping their ass and grabbing their cell phone? Oh, I do that. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Pretty gross. But uh, yeah, I have a system kind of like somebody would disassemble a gun very effectively. <laughs> I have a. Uh, <laughs> I can. I, I take, like, you know, the toilet paper, I fold it, and then I just have, like, I know the right, like, when I turn the faucet on, I give it a little bit of a thing under the faucet and just a hair of soap on there. So you're like a dog. You that soap? Like a dog yeah, yeah. Only, you so put you, hand soap on your hand asshole? Hand soap in my asshole. So you're like a dog that only eats wet food in the way. Yes. No dry toilet Wait, paper. you dude. put hand soap on your asshole every time you take a shit? Yeah, yeah. But and then, and then I... And then oh, I, so the first guy in there is... First guy in there is dry. 
Okay. Just got to get the... Just a little damage control. Right. <laughs> get the worst of it. In this case, with any Hershey kisses kissing around. <laughs> then you get in there with either your moist toilet or your... <laughs> moist toilet, dude. You are a fucking lunatic. God damn. Oh, no, so <laughs> dry, dry. The dry hand... So you hit him with the first dry mummy. You do a mummy wrap to the fucking... I don't, I don't wrap toilet. it around my hand. <laughs> do you mummy wrap your no, hand? my friend does. Oh, so that's my wild. My friend mummy wraps. <laughs> so much toilet paper. That would, I would just <laughs> drive me insane if I knew that. <laughs> he lived with my brother and he fucking... He would <laughs> saw through toilet paper. Give it to man what claw. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like a nice square fold. Yeah. You attack. Yep. And then you hit it with the so- And then you get towelette. hand soap. Yes. And wipe your asshole with hand soap. Yes. And, and then, then back to a dry? Ooh, no, then, then do a wet... No. Because you use a hand soap that's got a little bit of like uh, moisturizer in it. Ooh. And then, uh, then I go back so to a wet. <laughs> then I go back to a wet. And then I put hemorrhoid cream in there. By the way, this is... Uh, wait, no, hang on. This is pretty funny because uh, O'Connor was over at my house one, one day and I farted. And he was just like, boy, that sounded a little wet. And I was like, no, nothing. That was just all the lube. <laughs> right, right, right. And that's what I found out later. Because then the next day my cousin was over, I farted. And he was like, you, you got to go change your pants. You just pooped your pants. And I was like, I don't know why everybody's telling me that. He's like, that's the lube. <laughs> It's just preparation age. Dude, Steve. So now... I've got... My yeah. asshole's impeccable shit. Well, you totally discredited yourself. No, it's on an any impeccable, topic. No, no, no. impeccable asshole. I'm not talking about the asshole because you seem like an expert on that. But That's... now any topic you discuss, <laughs> any of your detractors can just be like, who, weird asshole guy? Yes. Well, it's guy also with... a level of openness too. It is, but you, oh, so when you've, you you've, fart, opened, you've opened the door to it, now. Does it sound like squeezing silly putty? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, that doesn't discredit you either in my eyes, Steve. I'm very proud no, of you. No, I'm, but saying, I'm, I'm saying the haters. I'm saying the haters. Dude, what sure. haters, bro? The haters and the losers dude, will come down Jesus upon him. Jesus had a thousand haters and twelve disciples, dude. How'd that work out for him? He's <laughs> Lord of the universe, dude. That's how it worked out for him. He rose again to Lord of the universe. Pretty good. <laughs> Maybe. Definitely. Not in Salah. <laughs> Steve's a Jew. So what? I'm not non practicing. He doesn't Jew. think I mean, Jesus is Lord of the Universe? Well, he, I mean, he thinks Jesus' dad is Lord of the Universe. I don't know. No, he doesn't think Jesus was divine. That's fair. I don't care. I'm that's why, saying, that's why Steve's cool ancestors that's all. That's with, their, to give you a cool with their gross butts. I was, I was trying to give you a possible <laughs> chest tattoo idea, but you don't want it. So don't what? Take, Jesus is Lord Jesus of the Universe? Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus had a thousand haters and twelve disciples, dude. <laughs> True. Oh, man. Well, so you're, but you're saying in other, your butthole is clean. You can call it loud and yeah. sloppy mm-hmm. sounding, but yeah, it's clean. Yeah. It's a boisterous asshole. That's you, right. But your it butthole sure is, clean. is basically my dick. Yes. I have a just I'm con- I have like an old 1967 Cadillac. <laughs> I'm constantly working on it. <laughs> you guys should fuck. I got my dick in the shop. And you all guys should combine forces. <laughs> constantly working on it. <laughs> With your fucking dong wax and his lubed ass, dude, that would be heavenly if you two fuck. You sound like a his and hers, dude. Oh, I had a back in the day. I had an idea for a penis uh, product. What happened? Oh, what is it? It, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, you presented this. What? Go ahead. Oh, I've already told you. Hold on, let me hear it. I've already told I'm you. I'm going to see if I remember it. Go ahead. Oh, this, the is idea it was... Is yes. it lubed? Yes. All right, let me hear it. What was it? <laughs> the, well, you would, you, would, you would lubricate the outside of the condom okay. with something that made the vagina contract. Oh, yeah. This is the craziest shit I've heard. Oh. Yeah, you hit me with this before. Yes. I mean... Explain it. Explain it more. Well, it's just... just I just the just, idea of instead of taking something to make the penis feel bigger or your penis bigger, you'd make the vagina feel tighter. Yeah, you just yeah. gotta whisper the right stuff in their ear, dude. It's gotta be like, hey, babe, I was scared. I fucking love your asshole. God, my asshole is lubed up right now. <laughs> don't worry about my don't worry about my tiny <laughs> dick. Your pussy's about to contract. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it'd be tough. You'd have to brand them so see. <laughs> <God Yes. damn laughs> it, it's probably scientifically possible. But you'd have to, the branding would be so tricky. Because, like, if you were out to buy condoms and your girlfriend found that you bought the vaginal contracting condoms. Right, right. That's like a girl coming home and buying you, like, extra small condoms. That's like. Right. You'd yeah. have to market it to yeah. women under the slogan, make him, make him feel bigger. 
girls probably would like that. You're right. But or you can mark also- it as, hey, you got a giant pussy. <laughs> 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 I was just say, you can have like Martha Stewart come out and be like, hey, you whale pussy whore. <laughs> And uh, I think Are for the a, record, I'd like to say that I'm not advocating making this product. Are you a slut with a giant pussy? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Gerben, noted Jew and hemorrhoid sufferer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 Steve Gerben is not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my friend bought this stuff. In freshman year of college, bought this stuff. that was It was called Mandalay. And it makes it's like a desensitizer. It's like basically the shit like Ambisol you put on your tongue, whatever that's called. Um, it kills your nerve endings, or it temporarily kind of like cuts them off. Numbs yeah. your dong up. Yeah, so you numb your dongers, and then it be like so you don't come so fast. <laughs> and he was having sex with his girlfriend, and he was like doing it secretly. Like he'd go get his condom and like put Mandalay on. He put it on the wrong side of the condom and rolled the condom down and started having sex with his girlfriend. And she was like. I, I, can't, I can't feel myself and your pussy oh. just went totally numb and he's like weird that's fucking weird <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude he's like well that's crazy it must be these condoms I don't know what's going on with it yeah, fucking that's... hit her with a mandalay dude it totally killed the pussy mandalay <laughs> <laughs> you should get that for your asshole <laughs> you should just numb your asshole with mandalay <laughs> yeah dude well, I mean, the concern with that would be that then it would exacerbate the problem. Then the problem, you wouldn't even feel the problem. No, no, just I'd be roided out. It'd be like being on painkillers. Yeah, yeah. You're just... yeah, it would come back worse. <laughs> so, what, what's like? Is there any long term <laughs> cures or like? Uh, I think you could potentially get surgery, but I've got them like inside and outside. So you got to like Jesus Christ! I, mean, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, there's external and internal roids. Ooh. You can get inside your butthole roids. Deep in the colon. Where's an out? What's, what's an outside? Outer is like on the uh, on the butthole. Right. You can on, see like a bulge. Which is probably uh, what your okay. girlfriend's seeing. That's what I was saying. If she's getting in there. God, yeah, she hasn't said anything about that. She's just uh, more of like a. She's on uh, poop patrol. Okay. So, but you know, you don't get hemorrhoids. You got someone. You got a personal butt janitor, dude. I mean, <laughs> that I would love that. It's pretty nice. That's what you need to find. Put that on Tinder. You'd be surprised, Just be like, man. Hey, is anybody here There's interested? There's a lot in of me? girls who want to get into guys' butts, dude. They're kicking around out there. They're thinking about it. You've, yeah, I mean, if I'm I were just... you, if I were you, I would say that. What? You've got experience with it. You found one. You've got to be like. There's got to be plenty of girls. No, like I'm this. telling you, man. I've dated girls before, and they're they're fucking attack your butt, dude. They're they're looking to do it. They're I mean, trying to get into your asshole. Yeah. They like that. It's just something they can take from you, dude. You think that tra- women are trying to take things from you? Yeah, just to be like, I ah, remember when I put my finger in your ass, and you're like, oh, fuck. little booty, yeah, yeah, all right. This is it's a nice thing to have on someone. Like if I had fingered your ass, there would be a secret bond we'd have. Would you ever get pegged? No, huh? hell no. You would. That's how you get hemorrhoids. Dude. Steve, you would get pegged. Yeah, I feel like I if I feel really? like I could take it. I would have to. Oh, like, Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> dude, this is. I'm, Wait, there's nothing wrong with taking pleasure from your butt. From getting pegged, I do have a problem with that. <laughs> Why? It's fucking weird. Okay. Anytime I hear a dude, and I've, and I'm not shitting on you here. No, no, you can but shit I've, on. But I've heard this too many times lately about dudes from dudes pegged. that I'm sitting down with talking, either getting pegged or being like, "Yeah, I would get pegged." I think. A lot oh, of really? Think yes. they could? But I think once I think the push peg comes, comes to out, shove, dude. I think once the peg comes out. Interesting. So here was my <clears throat> thought process on this. Yeah. That it's really just. It's not a physical sensation that I, I think I would enjoy. Like when I put a uh, like suppository up my ass, I'm like, <laughs> I, it feels weird. I know it I does feel good when your butthole I, sucks it up. To, oh, that's an interesting when your feeling. Butthole, yes, yeah. yeah. If you put a suppository oh, in your ass, so your butthole just snatches and it. And you like it. That does. It is. A, it's a nice feeling. It's a reverse yeah. turn. Yeah, it feels great. The first time I did that, I giggled. <laughs> but I, I the, the way Jesus I fuck. the I'm way I would do it is jerked off. <laughs> if it really turned her on, and this is somebody that was going to well, be this, with long term. Oh, if it really turned her on, right? Yeah. <clears throat> then I would say we're going to start with something that would be like suppository size. Yeah. Something that's not you know, so and then I just have your to your dick. <laughs> so then I just have to endure an uncomfortable physical sensation. That's not that uncomfortable. But it's getting her off because the thing is, is that I, if if you have something that really turns you on and she's kind of like, eh, you're just like, fuck, come on, that's true. Just like tough it out. I'll give up the ass. <laughs> right. So she really wanted it. 
then you know something very small wouldn't nothing and you think that adds to the element of eroticness to her commanding to get into your butt a little or no what is that what do you mean? The fact that she's like totally dominating your butt and you're just appeasing her. <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> it that's, feel... a, that's a butt queen. Is if it, someone has a butt queen, there's like a girlfriend who like demands entry into your asshole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I mean, as long as that personality, I don't know. As long as, uh, as, long as, as they, don't do it. They if, have if, enough. If, they, no. they, you can't. Do I'm not looking for it. I'm just saying. Rich. If your girl, dude, if don't do this to the poor girl. You're talking. Yeah, that's true. It would have to be a long term relationship with somebody with a good family. <laughs> so you're, yeah. That's how you solidify land deals. So yeah, she's got to come from good an ink stock. Pen up your ass. She's got to be good stock. And she, she fucks you with an ink pen, and her father signs the title. Yeah, to he the puts land a wax. Over. He puts a wax stamp on your on your back. Right. Uh, instead of her coming, but uh, so you're gonna. This is this would be hypothetically with somebody that you lo- like are in a long term relationship with. Yes, and then it. Really- and then you want to have kids. And you gotta look your son in the eye <laughs> someday when you're out playing catch. Yeah. And you're like, well, son, I'm, one day. The worst no, part. No, I'd be like, son, you're, I let your mom stick stuff a, up my ass. Stuff up my ass because he got her off. All right. And I take care of her. Be like, I had something I make in my sure ass she when I conceived fucking you. Fucking comes hard, and I like my asshole was full with like a tube sock and a battery when I conceived you. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, it, it would be a, a limit to. The girth. Look at Finn giving you side eyes for well, me. The, fucking thing, the one thing I worry about Finn is the dogs over here. If you had makeups, like reverse makeup sex with your girlfriend and like you just kind of were fighting and then she pegs you, she might be a little rough and fucking... And also, what... The shape of the peg. Are you going like uh, a dick? No, like I said, or, like, it's got to be you know suppository I mean? sign. are you going? Like so, a butt plug then. Sh- sh- I want to say <laughs> specifically the size of a suppository. I would want a custom... <laughs> It's so little. Yes, I want to start small. I don't fucking jump in shallow end. So you're, you're no size queen then. No, you are not a size no, queen. Definitely not. Okay, but what if would she you do it? Gradually? Would you do it? Yeah, totally. Oh, okay. This thing you're talking like a visine container. I, I could, yeah. I'll take a visine <laughs> yeah, container on my ass right now. I won't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> my question here's my question to you. Yeah. What if she wants to strap it around herself? Yeah. Oh, like, like, like. Pe- well, what if you, do you have a choice between like a a large, like non phallic object or a tiny penis? But <laughs> for the <laughs> tiny penis, she has to fu- like literally yeah, fuck yeah, me. Yeah, with it. Yeah. That's a tough one. I definitely take the smaller one. Again, I just you would I, take the tiny penis. Yeah, I think I can get myself in what a mental you state. Shane, what? you have to get something up your butt. It's like a a big like a floaty almost, <laughs> something yeah. like that, like totally non phallic, or just a teeny penis. But she's a gonna, teeny penis on a man. No, no, I mean, Jesus, you can if you want. Wait, it's just a <laughs> tiny object that's shaped like a penis? She straps it on. Well, I think she getting, straps on getting pegged is a strap-on. It doesn't have to be. Oh, really? Yeah, you can. Yeah, totally. I thought getting pegged was strap-on. That was my understanding as well. It could be, but you can, I mean, they can totally just sit there. Or that's just getting butt dildoed. Double dildo you. Um, ooh, that's a new twist. What? Double, double <laughs> dildo with your chick. <laughs> Yo, you guys yeah. are both legs in the air. <laughs> Yo. Like Damn. Requiem for a Dream. Yeah. They do or you can ask to ask. <laughs> <laughs> you and your wife. I mean, it definitely exists. The, on the mother air. of your children. Um, I mean, that's, yeah, that's a Saturday night. It's a, little, a wild time. A little back to back, dude. It's like, let's toss on some fucking Stranger Things, and then <laughs> afterwards we'll fucking do ass to ass dildo each other. But, uh, that's funny thinking about like in all like the grade school CIO events there's how many of the parents like just were like eating each other's asses just, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah, no I would go with the smaller object you go with the tiny phallic's designed to okay. designed for entry I'm gonna step it up that's true and, so for, that would and be, for pleasure and for plunging okay so if you're gonna go just like a <laughs> like a, a pretty size like an 8 inch peg you're, you're, this is both penises at this point. You have a choice between like an eight inch fat fucking pegger or like a, a standard fucking like five, but that also squirts inside you at the end. <laughs> the squirting inside. I mean, if I'm already if I'm already going all in on this, the squirt the squirt inside would probably it be great. A lot. <laughs> it would probably feel great. It squirts hands. You know, it squirts hands <laughs> open your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, all right. This is trash. You what? think we're going to get to Mars talking about shit like this, Steve? 
Yeah. You know what's going to be interesting <laughs> about getting to Mars? Yeah. You'd well, be like the first Mars, so I was talking first person to do everything. True that. I just I came the first person to beat off on this. That's pretty tight. Forever. For, you know, do whatever. Any weird thing that you do. Do you think the space race is to see who can jerk off first? <laughs> is that what us versus the Soviet Union was? <laughs> so <you> jerk <laughs> who off who jerked off on the moon first? <laughs> who, who, fought, who got the first moon shot? It's, technically, that hasn't happened yet, though. I bet it has. This I guarantee one of those astronauts cracked one off. You think someone jerked Definitely off on the fake not. moon landing when they faked the moon landing? Some guys like, I don't care. I'm coming on it. <laughs> I'm coming on the set, dude. Fuck it. Why do you think the flag was so stiff? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh... <laughs> You said we put up a cum covered flag. On <laughs> yeah. <there>. <laughs> Astronauts <laughs> have definitely jerked off. There's been I mean, several. Someone's jerked off in space. Well, there's for been sure. definitely several nuts in space. Yeah, in yeah. space for sure. Think of that, just floating around the room yeah, when you dude, finish. Your nut just floats around everywhere. <laughs> Gets into like a computer out. system. <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna swim after you. That's what nut. happened to Apollo 13. Like they didn't nut. I think Tom Hanks <laughs> jizzed on one of those systems, and they're like, <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Funny, you're like <laughs> he's jerking you're off. quietly jerking off in your little pod, and you have people next to you, and you're like, all of a sudden your nut starts flying up in the air, and you're like, oh shit, and you have to like swim around and snag <laughs> it back. Floats into the other guy's room and just. <laughs> 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 oh man, yeah. So I mean, if I became a millionaire, the first thing I did, was, the first thing I did, was probably <laughs> Hold on, what was that? What I was like, they think mine is spit. I have very clear. Ew, Steve. <laughs> That's healthy. <laughs> so you got real clear. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice. it's not good. I gotta get looked at. Why? Really? Well, so you I, only not pre cum. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it's pre cum, but I, you know, if I, if one day I want a father, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like if you want a sire, a boy. Yeah. So you're saying you need that cloudy. You need that yeah, cloud. I think that, that that's an indicator. The milky of a substance. Low, yes. Sometimes it turns yellow too. You gotta watch out for that. You gotta watch out for that old yellow. Yeah, that sometimes yellow. you gotta put that down. I don't know why he does that. I read about it like three times, but mm. you still don't. Still I don't know. I just read about it. it. I go, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Something I Google like once a year ago. Okay, and then I totally forget as soon as yeah, I do. Yeah, it. yeah. So, I think if it stays in you too long, it starts turning yellow. Which uh-huh. makes sense. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's because you go on several. You go on no fabs. Steve, you ever know FAP? Yeah, I've tried. How to go? Yeah, with your record. Not, 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 not long at all. Yeah. Several hours. No, like I'd say three or four days tops. <laughs> good. Really? Yeah. It's a good, healthy boy. Yeah, that's about right. Three, three days is a good. Yeah, but I was trying to do like two weeks. Oh well, that's no good. No, I had. That's hard. Willpower, and it was it was like when I was like walking to the toilet paper. I was like, you know, you're breaking your willpower right now, and I was like, whatever. <laughs> You know, like having that conversation in my head. Yeah, I, just like marching back, and I go. <laughs> I do it all the time. Like an idiot. I do it when I finally just let my defenses down, and I'm jerking off. It's such a sad you day. Just yeah, come. like I'm trying not to do it at all, and just Jesus Christ, man. When you when you do it, and afterwards you just go, I didn't need to do that. Sometimes though, I go like, I fucking needed that. Yeah. I don't care. I needed that. Exactly right. Sometimes you need to crack one Sometimes off. You, of course you do. I hit a level where I'm just like. Well, you're on a different level. You're on a new... You're on a plane that... Gerbs fucking... He sounds worse off than me. With what? Needing a fucking crumb. You need a crumb. But three to four days is about... That's, the that's red, reasonable. That's panic time. That's kind of no, like... I, I hit three to four days just going about my business. Not me, bro. That's good. That's you what I want to be. I want to be in that yeah, mental Shane, state. You're a big, like, big dude. Naturally, you were kind of like running stuff. So your DNA is just like... Whatever. Me and Steve are smaller dudes, so we gotta fucking. We're designed to crank them out all the time. In order for our genes to have competed with yours back in the day, we'd have come twice as much, <laughs> twice as hard. That come from a long line of dudes who don't come that much. Like you, your ancestor probably had like a harem somewhere in a cave, and me and Steve were popping in, just being like, Ugh! you guys were sneaking, you were sneaking into the cave. We were like little cave, mosquitoes, dude. dude. <laughs> we're just running around like. <laughs> 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 oh man. Yeah, so Steve, you got a fucked up asshole. Your cum's weird. You yeah. would get fucked in the ass. Anything else you want to share? <laughs> I, I I could I could share a story. I feel like you're gonna Q plus me on this and be like, don't read. shut tell, up, shut up, don't be Q, gay. Q plus. Why? Well, He's saying I'm gonna make fun of him for being gay. But I've told everybody, and I, well, I say need, the fucking story. I got catfished like what? A, a decade ago. <laughs> Let me that on camera. I got catfished. Just dead, dead serious. He leaned into the table and looked totally serious. Right, well, I'm standing out there. I'm going to tell my catfishing no. story. Oh, it's in this fucking piece of metal. I forgot my I'll ass switch. cushion. I'll switch. This has a cushion. Oh. 
All right, fine. I'll say it. I'll, no, 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 I don't want your chair. I can't. I can't be. Take. I, I want you to fucking plug the mic in for some reason. It, it's coming out fine. We're yeah, fine. It's, Sorry. It's, it's good. All right, so tell oh, us. Is my this, hand fucking it up? No, dude. your hand's yeah. not fucking it up. You tell us oh. about the time you got tricked on the internet into falling in love. It's almost worse than that because. Really? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hold <laughs> on, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. You want to know what's worse than that? Matt got catfished by a dude. <laughs> Travis by a tranny. He, he made out. Massage, yeah, he yeah a, no, I know about that. Kiss. He kissed the guy, and then the I guy kissed is... the guy. Shane's <laughs> such a fucking liar. I think I got you beat, man. I think this one's worse. Really? Yes. <laughs> How? I jerked off on the internet. Oh, put your mic back in the thing. Okay. <laughs> I, I, now I'm paranoid that it's getting fucked up. Yeah, my bad. No, you might be right, though. So, so... I was in I was in Los Angeles for an internship. Okay, 20, that's gay already. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, it's like t- a decade ago. <laughs> it's like mid twenties. Okay, and uh, immediately when I get out there, there was like no success with women whatsoever. Yeah, you know, like a <laughs> little bit <laughs> tough town, dude. right? And it was like when I when I got out, I rented a car from this place called Rent a Wreck. And it was this like old uh, Ford Festiva, and I got in. And I was like, "This is so hilarious!" <laughs> and like, as I was driving to my cousin's house, by the time I got there, I was like, "I'm never gonna be able to go on a date." You're doing a Ford it Festiva. It stunk. It was so horrible. It was <laughs> disgusting. This car. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so I got very lonely after a couple months, and I signed up for <laughs> this thing called Lava Life. Getting lonely. It's so funny. <laughs> it is dude. so being lonely. Bad. It sucks, yeah. dude. It's so bad. And yeah. the decisions that I made. Because again, the, 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 the type of brain that I have is like, I desperately want to be a Tommy Pope ask. I know we're not talking just about yeah. jerking off, but like, the <laughs> dates with, you know, like, you no, know. You only heard that part. I know. But you know what I mean? It's like, I've always like fans of dating, and it's just, I just don't date a ton. You want to be a like, Chad. I do want to be a Chad. Yes. So that's always like that push is there, but it's never, uh-huh. I'm not, it's like I want a ton of chocolate, but I get like a, a small piece here and there. Yeah, I got it. You know it. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The supply and demand is off. So I signed up for Lava Life, and at that What's time, Lava Life? What's the service? Lava Life was a dating <laughs> service. Got like oh, an old one, like ten years ago. Yeah. Okay. So they, just only weirdos are online dating at this point. Yes. All right. It I think it was accepted. Uh, I think actually this one was. I think it was like a little bit more accepted at the time. Yeah, match, you were in LA out. too. That was different. That yeah, kind of true. On faster in the cities. But they had a. Uh, there was like three different sections. There was like. You know, friends, and then there was dating, and then there was like adult, you know, which was basically yeah. like you're trying to, like an adult friend finding section. Exactly. Casual, whatever it's called, casual affair. Casual affair. Yeah. So I get into this sext, you know, tech, you know, uh, uh-huh. instant messaging with this girl. And she's, I'm saying, you know, just d- deplorable, depraved things. She's writing back things. <laughs> Okay. So like, no, this is this is this could happen. So then she says, uh, "I want to watch you jerk off." Never Aww. talked on the phone or anything. No. 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 This is going to appall you how stupid I am at literally uh, every step. Nah. You're a so, guy. Yeah. You're yeah. To get, you're Dude, a guy when you're to get when you're lonely off. when you're lonely you're doing some yeah. dumb shit. Well, right. That's yeah. exactly. If you're a guy lonely in a strange city, you're in. Right this is this is what happens. It's, There's no this is rules. Exactly what happens. You come somewhere in front yes. of someone, yeah. and that's that's why I also like as a, another public service announcement beyond yeah. the hemorrhoids. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Shane just farted a lot. It sounded like he was asking questions. <laughs> um, so what's but, the PSA then? The, well, the PSA is is like just try not to jerk off for a stranger on the internet because you know. You just really you resist the is. urge. All right, yeah. So you're, you're so sexting. so I'm there. So we're doing all this, all this AI, you know, about this, that, and the other. And then she's like, "I want to watch you jerk off." So uh, this just it seems like a great idea at the time. For sure. So now <laughs> it is. It's a great idea. Go so ahead. so, but she sends me. Fo- so I was like, "Well, you you go on. You know, like you should. Like I want to watch you too." Yeah. And she's like, well, I don't have a video camera. So she just sends me a photo. How the fuck are you going to watch this? I'm like, how are you going to watch this then? She has a phone. You're going through phones? Well, no, no, no. She, you she's know. She's on a computer would, would that said, doesn't have a camera. Oh, I got you, got you, you, you know, got you. Claims. Gotcha. And so, all, uh, so I just get a photo. 
Yeah. And so now I'm no, in, so time. now I'm like looking and if, it's time if this jerk footage off now. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> if this footage ever comes out, I had to get ahead of it. Like I told everybody just to be like That's true. Yeah, I, that's true. Uh, <laughs> like to my brother, I was like this footage exists of me doing the you're just jerking off on the internet. So basically I was like you could see me looking at myself like trying to make myself like look sexy in this <sighs> <laughs> Oh, and man. then I so now I'm beating off and then she's writing things it's like I want to hear you moan but I had roommate like I was living in a dining room I was living in a dining room with just like curtains over the thing and so <laughs> to a Ford Festival in a dining room <laughs> in a dining room just curious I was like <laughs> and so I'm typing back like I can't, oh, I can't moan. You moan how did you I did moan? not moan how would you moan I did not moan I know but how would you if, I would, I would, gas, if I'm moaning I'd like, be like oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even give her a little like no, no. If I moan, I'm more of a talk. I'd be like, "You're so fucking, you know." I'm oh, like Steve, man, Steven. Oh, <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> but anyway, I got to recap. I have to recap. So you're you're in a Ford Festiva. You're in a dining room, drinking off with someone on the internet. Yeah, and you're like, "This is the one." <laughs> yes. So I'm I'm nude on a blow up thing, you know. <laughs> You're, I, on, you're nude on an inflatable mattress? mattress? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. I ejaculate into a sock. Okay. <laughs> I ejaculate into a sock. <laughs> and she writes, LOL, and then closes the chat window. <gasps> so you don't know who this is? I mean, we know who it is. <laughs> who is it? Just somebody that's either, at best... A room of guys fucking with me. At worst, somebody that's like recording it to just like put on the internet. Oh my! God. So now I'm, <laughs> that's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. That's because a black mirror. Episode. There was so much intense yeah. interaction. You know, it was like the 30 minutes before beating <laughs> off on camera it was so exciting, <laughs> and then I'm beating off like you're so dirty, and you know what? And then it's just like, <laughs> lol, it closes, and I'm laying nude. <laughs> <laughs> on the blow up mattress and now I was just like my life's over at that point like you I gotta still... Bourdain out on that one <laughs> you right. gotta fucking Listen, I do think that if I was ever gonna commit suicide that was the moment because yeah that's a good time to do it I was still doing you comedy you should have texted him back lol and fucking sent him a video of you killing yourself <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining well, the jokes mon- on you, asshole. I was imagining the montage, just like <laughs> he's like rolling around in air mattress, just different <laughs> him, him like sitting up, like oh, <laughs> I'm going to ejaculate into the sock now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Damn, dude, that is. It took me a just few days to recover from that. Just a shot of his hand gripping the sheets for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. LOL. <laughs> and of course, that, that was going through my head. I was like, is there any way I could say that this wasn't me? It's like, with this, with, I have arthritis. It's like, with these hands. Yeah, but there's that, uh, whatchamacallit. They're getting really good at that imaging shit. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So you're like, no, it's just some weirdo guy. Yeah. I can't. I mean, that is me. Have a look. Hey, you know what? It's something everybody does. So yeah. It's like. Holy shit, though. That's. You say you well, got over that in a few you... days? No, no, probably not in a few days. I, I mean, that if... would stick with me. I'd be going to sleep at night now. Thinking nah, about I wouldn't that. worry about it now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about it now. I really, at the time though, because I was still doing stand up and my stand up was also, I was so worried about like reputation <laughs> yeah. too, because it was like, it was more of a, yeah. I guess a little cleaner. Worry, I worry about that, set of, that kind of stuff getting to like my mom. That yeah. would fuck me up. Yeah. So I'm be like, just haha, and sending it to your contacts, and you're like, dude, stop. My parents are cool. My dad would just be like, you're a fucking idiot. My mom would be like, <laughs> I mean, they well, I never want to, you know. <laughs> they, exactly. They both would be like, they wouldn't like disown me, but they'd yeah. be like, oh, man. The blackmailing of me wouldn't How happen. much do you think she'd watch of it? Do you think she'd last like a couple seconds she on it? She wouldn't watch it. I mean, if it came, it was like, hey, here's a video of your son, uh, she'd just probably click it. Oh, yeah, and just be like, oh, oh my, my God. God. Do you think yeah. it'd take her like at least five seconds to turn that off? Yeah, she would turn it off very. Was, the, saying, was Dick out from the beginning? Well, or were you playing, no. Or were you like doing a little the, the, the beginning of it is me like looking at myself and then like nice doing a couple <laughs> <laughs> and then like lying down and like fucking flexing in the beginning. Yeah, trying to oh. trying to get like a good angle on a oh, tiny man. little old. That's oh, that's man. tough, man. That's great. That's tough. That's wonderful, dude. That's tough. When all of our, our internet history is about to come out, dude. We're about to all be fucked. 
Yeah. That's good. There's going to be Ancestry.com yeah. for <laughs> basically our grandchildren that instead of your genealogy traces your ancestor's web history. <laughs> That's going to be out. Like, dude, my fucking great-grandfather's in a butt plug. That's crazy. <laughs> That's gonna come Using out one jerk day. Jerk off buddies. Yeah, that's, that's gonna come out one day. That, yeah, you said. That happens though. When you're when you're in a city, if you're by that loneliness, loneliness. I run I run away from it. How you like run whenever away? I feel lonely, I just go home. I've quit things gotcha. because like you like feel- when I was in Spain at first, I wanted to quit right away. I wanted to be like, oh, I'm going home. This yeah. sucks. Yeah. And then you you wait it out and it gets better, but. Well, yeah. Well, a lot sucks. of times. There's people who can go out and like go to a bar and just be like, well, let me go out and see some people. If it's like, I don't really go out of my way to interact with people. Yeah. So if I'm lonely and no one talks to me, I'll just be lonely forever. Yeah. I need someone to be like, hey, what's up? I'm like, oh, sweet. Someone's talking to me. I love you. I don't really go out of, yeah, I don't really go out of my <laughs> you way. You want to watch like, me jerk off? Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what's this, a text message? I'll come right now on an air mattress. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to film it? All right. I'm so fucking lonely, dude. <laughs> oh, I think in a way it was a beautiful thing you did. You should just yeah, get yeah. the footage and sell it as like some wild art house indie film, some short. Yeah. And be like this is just yeah. a take on human loneliness. It was I did all, make it was one smart up. call though because there was some other girl that was like messaging me. She was a bus driver. So like, take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, take a shit in a cup and film it. <laughs> So you got a bus driver on your case. <laughs> so you had a sassy, fat black lady. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she didn't look that fat, but uh, she we were like talking uh, like a little bit via text, and then I got a call. She or she she texted me or no, yeah, she did. She called me, and it was like late. It was like one o'clock in the morning or something. Is that bus driver life. Yeah, and she was like, "You should come over right now." And I was just like, uh, "I was like, I think um, like we should get coffee first or something." She's like, "No, if you don't come over now, then like we're not gonna meet up ever." She should, have, she, should, she should have picked you up. Dude. <laughs> You're walking down the street. You just see her press the lever. The doors open. And <laughs> 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 You're a bus pull up there. <gasps> sure. No, I think I was gonna get mugged. Why did you go to the bus driver? <laughs> I, I was gonna get mugged. Then she probably had some dude that was gonna mug me. Female bus drivers hang out with thugs. Dude. Again, again, we're assuming that that information I mean, is it's correct. Like, it basically is like prostitutes, thieves, drug dealers, bus drivers. <laughs> bus drivers is the next tier of like <laughs> bad members of society. <laughs> Holy fuck, That's dude. That's so funny. You almost got raped by a bus driver. <laughs> so I was like very pleased in the morning when I woke up. She probably saw the vid. It was probably viral. And she was like, let me get this motherfucker <laughs> I got to get this house. boy. This let is a good boy. Let him as well. And you're a hairless boy, too. That must have been a nice vid. <laughs> I mean, dude, the LOL and then sign off is like... Sign off, yeah. Fuck, that would freak me out. Because it's just everything that I thought it was I mean, was suddenly yeah. not it. And post cum too, so you're, you're cum. fully logical. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean, I don't want to put this in your head. Nah, I'm just not gonna put that. What? Put it, put it in my head. head. The LOL response leads me to believe is a group of young girls who are like, "Oh my god, LOL, boom, close." Fine. Yeah, that's better than any other situation. Yeah, it is. Well, plus, not hot in kids. the FBI's eyes, but yeah. Well, you that would be unknowingly. You yeah, unknowingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and unknowingly, you, that was a, even better. Not I don't try of, <laughs> you nutted in front of a bunch of little kids legally. <laughs> you, could, you could catch a, uh, a throwback beat, like a tribute to that one, being like, "Wow, I can't believe I did that." I don't know. Trump might vacuum you up, though. He's Trump's all the pedos. So he's rolling them up. And that's all I'll say, dude. Yeah, that's no all problems. we're saying. We're saying that right now. But Trump's rolling up the pedophiles. <laughs> Promises kept, dude. Shout out Frankson. Yeah, dude. Uh, so yeah, so you got hemorrhoids. Yeah. You got you jerked off to a bunch of kids. You get fucked in the ass. <laughs> Did not. It's a tough life. No, not, you're, not yet. You're just rolling in the deep, dude. You're you're out here. You're living. <laughs> you are. You're drifting through. Just trying. Now the, the again though the loneliness is it's brutal. It leads you to do some what, real what is, dumb shit. What if your girlfriend shit? just wanted to like touch your butthole during sex? Would you be like no? Only because I'm insecure about it. You'd be like, would you whisper like no? <laughs> no, I'd fucking. St- like, yeah. I'd be like, get the fuck off me. If her hand was like near your butt. <laughs> she's like, done that a couple times. Not yet. Not she's not done it. She's done it to be like, see, this is what it's like. Because uh, I'll fucking. I girls, try to get after the butthole. I know. When I'm when I'm deep up in it. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to fucking 
Yeah, you gotta touch it. It's fun. It gets it's me going. Super fun. But, Is that right? Uh, yeah, oh, so touch yeah. It. You're not supposed to. So it's like yeah, you, yeah. And then it's like uh, ringing a doorbell. And then she'll away. be like, "See, that's what it's like. Stop doing it." She'll like go for it. And I'm like, "Fucking get off! Don't do that." And then you're like, "No, let me do it. Come on." And then I'm like, "No, shut up! It's different with you." <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So you have a talk. <laughs> Yeah. You and there's no date on it yet. No. But the no. the GBD. the video you sent me of what you're gonna you're gonna play a clip of this thing, right? Yeah, there's gonna be a sketch to start it. And the sketch is Matt's in, oh, Shane's Shane's in the narration. Blast, for they sure. did so good. Dude, it is so lucky. Dude, O'Connor is so fu- you and O'Connor together yeah. in that are so fucking he's, funny. He's great. McKeever, but yeah. you know I mean the whole thing. I'm yeah. really excited to see the sketch. Oh cool. Yeah, and yeah, the talk I'm sure will be great. The the immigration talk was sick. Thanks, man. The fucking, what was the other talk? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia was fucking, yeah. it got me fired up, dude. I was Thanks. watching that and I was like, God damn Muslims. Fucking God damn Muslims yeah, trying yeah. to fucking tread on me. <laughs> you know what I was wondering last night? Do <laughs> you think, so do women Muslims, what's their like heaven prize? Do they become, they like just I used to have a virgins? joke about that. Do they just become virgins? I said, my joke was... The, like uh, 72 virgins you don't see any like female suicide bombers because be, <laughs> heaven would last like five seconds just one guy after the uh, 72 male virgins uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry. oh sorry that sucks that's, that's, that's hack now it's hack yeah. that's a hack joke now oh, it so is funny. yes uh, what the, oh like 72 that virgins 72 virgins well first off any joke about 72 virgins is usually hack now yeah yeah but it is a it's a strange question I, like, I, it's funny because one of my first jokes was also like 72 huh that's a particular number. Yeah. What were they like? I'll do it. They're like, I'm not going to do it. They're like 70. Heskey's and the guy was like, nah. It was like 72. He's like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, Heskey had <laughs> one like so that. So yeah, there's a bunch of that. But the, gotcha. you, were, you were one of the originators. That's good. That's actually You were ahead of the fun. curve on a hack. Well, bit. I wonder, uh, just from like recruiting dudes into heaven, it's like, okay, that makes sense. But then like to the girls, they'd be like, yeah, you guys are all going to share some dude. Yeah, well, that's not that motivated. They've been in that that religion. If you're following it strict enough to suicide bomb, you're like all in on Sharia law and all that shit. So you're like, women are submissive. Like you are, your goal is to serve men. That makes sense. So like they're like, yeah, that must seem nice too. Then you have like seventy two helpers. Like yeah, you only have to fuck once every like (laughs) seventy two days. That's not bad. That's a that's a that's a female paradise, dude. (laughs) (laughs) I never have to fuck. Yes, you can split the chores with seventy two other women. Oh man, yeah. I I brought this up to Shane. He he didn't seem that that uh, interested in the idea, but I'll just throw it at you really quick. Is that it? No, I think what's interesting about Nazis is that there was there's no like moderate. Or like reform Nazis, so you couldn't run into a scenario where it's like, these aren't true Nazis. This is a perversion of Nazism. That's <laughs> not our thing. True that, like, you know, because then you Muslim attack, Nazis then you saying. invade Nazis. You're like all these Nazis. You're you're grouping us in with all these Nazis. Those yeah. are perversions of Nazis. Yeah, we just like just... the economic things of Nazism, or whatever. Right, right. Okay, so it's kind of like people being like, with Marxism. They're being like, well, they're just doing it wrong. Yeah. Maybe if somebody believed in oh. national socialism like that, where they'd be like, yeah, no, it's a good theory. It just, Germany did it wrong. Yeah. Well, I was actually, I was just relating more to like how tough it is to fight radical jihadism because they'd be like, this isn't real Islam. This is it. Yeah. It's strange. And, and, but yeah, with Nazism, they're just like all blanket, horrible people. So you can't run that confusion. Oh, of, so you're calling Muslims Nazis. <laughs> Not even close, <laughs> dude. I you, regret you. it. I regret it. I regret it. I'm pulling the shoot. I'm pulling the shoot. I just feel like you can't even bring up Muslims and Nazis in the same paragraph. Right? Well, no, okay. Here's what no, I'm saying. I'm Here's saying, another very hot take that saying. I'm gonna regret I'm saying. saying. That's like a that's a high wire act. If you got the Muzzies up here and the Nazis, and you're just like, well, you're right. Parallels. There's no reason for me to say that, well, and it's not that interesting. But you shouldn't have said it. You could. Whatever. You're being racist. Go ahead. What I'm you just saying the, the the last one that I was thinking is that if you'd say the greatest generation is the generation that fought the Nazis, but gr- greatest, it's like no, and I, and again, yeah. I love the vets. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you're about to get impeached. Well, it's just that you fought Nazis, like the pure evil. Yeah, you didn't really have a choice. Yeah. So you know, greatest would almost be it's just like, you know, you didn't have to, but you did. But yeah, you kind of you're fighting pure the incarnate. Damn. Of, so you hate Nazis. Okay, and, I regret hold it. On, hold on. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. You hate Nazis and Muslims. 
You are a true. Well, you're saying is Islamic jihadists. They're just as bad as what I'm saying you're is such that a Zionist. There is, it, you are it, such a classic Zionist. It's difficult because the ideology of Islam can yeah. be perverted by radicals. Yes. And then some people can lump all Muslims in under that thing. Yes. But Nazism didn't have that. It yeah, was just like, yeah. pure, it was just, there was no Venn diagram of sort of, it was just like Nazis. Bad. Yes. Yeah. Useless comment. There. Well, all right. it's out there. It's good. It gives, like it. gives the listener something to think about. <laughs> Is Dr. Steve Gerben <laughs> as racist as he sounds? <laughs> as Islamophobic as he... As so far, every episode, you've been quite Islamophobic. That's right. So? Very racist, yeah. yeah. His last... His new talks about, like, Western thought and progress and how we need to do away with Islam. What's your, what's it's your just least not, favorite religion? It's just not... But it is about the first part. Maybe, not, yeah. What's your least favorite religion? Uh, I really dislike... Uh, I mean Islam for sure, but uh, <laughs> Islam's a no-brainer. That's yeah. clearly the gay, yeah. the gayest that kind religion. Of stinks, yeah. But uh, <laughs> it so does like like evangelical Christian, like That's... Southern Christian, like Methodist. I forget which one it is. The evangelical shit where it's like I know what you're talking about. Creationists Mega churches and, and shit. Like where they're like the Earth is two thousand years old, like yeah. that type five thousand years old or whatever. That shit's really yeah. Like shut the fuck up. Yeah, I can see and that. the Westboro Baptists, like along those lines. I mean, Westboro Baptists is a yeah, small sect, count, yeah. but that yeah. like serious because then that gives Catholics even even a worse name. I mean, we're out, we're out fucking kids, but then also we get lumped into like War, yeah. Christianity. Yeah, you know, and I hate when people just lump all the bad apples of one religion into the whole thing the way Steve does with Islam. Well, it was interesting <laughs> that Shane brings up because in conversation with you, I got to parse out that difference between Catholicism and Christianity that I didn't really understand as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is true. Because I would always have thought Catholicism would have been the far more um, conservative of the two. But it almost doesn't seem that way insofar as all. they're more uh, like they're, they're more willing to change. Yeah. Like uh, you see the Pope recently was uh, he said he's like God made you that way to gay yeah, to people. Yeah, gay people, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. It pissed Alex Jones off. Did it? Well, Alex Jones is one of those. Do you know his he's fucking take on it, though? Like, what? He's been like, you made him that way. You touched him. You goddamn pedophile. Yeah, he hates Catholics. And that's another thing. The the A lot of racists in this country hate Catholics. Interesting. I never. That's insane. I've never heard that. Really? Yeah. Like the Klan. I'd love to see him get me, dude. Fucking white belt, bro. They're going to come up to me? You would roll on them. <laughs> you kidding They'd me, be dude? tapping in seconds. I'd tap the Klan out hard, dude. Heard you guys Dude. don't like Catholics. What'd like, you yeah, say? We don't really care about Catholics. I'm like, all right. yeah, well, we don't care about Catholics anymore. But well, that, that's yeah. in there. That's in great. That's an old that was, part. Yeah, of when they're all like old Southern Protestants, they're probably like, and I'm Catholics too. Yeah, back when back when Catholics were back I- when immigrated. Back when uh, Dairy Queen's family. Yeah, da- Dairy Queen. God, a u talking head. Dude, all right, I do want to say this because Steve, you're you're an intelligent uh, racist, but uh, <laughs> 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 but. So th- this fucking video game, this World oh, War II yeah. video game that came out, the trailer they released for it, so it's Battlefield Five, and the trailer they released for it is like this British lady in the middle of World War II fighting, and she like gets shot and runs around, she's mm-hmm. got a fake, she's got a prosthetic arm, and she's like... She's a robot arm. It's just a chick, and then like the cover art for the fucking... It's a World War II game. But, she, and it's, but like, it's a robot arm? And it's like, here's a chick... Arm? Well, so it's it's, I'm not as hung up on the arm as much as I am some fucking broad in the middle of a fucking firefight. In it's yeah. just like sure, what? but then uh, Dairy Queen, this this guy who he's just, a li- he's, liberal listener. He's a liberal. He's an edgy liberal. He's okay. a real edgy liberal. Yeah. Like he's not afraid to toss around some anti PC slurs, dude. Okay, <laughs> but uh, he's I mean he's edgy as fuck for a liberal, but he. In, in this fucking gamer thread, because he's heard me on here complain about it, there's this thread on the main board about E3, which is a video game convention, and he's like, somebody said something about, like, it's amazing that people are complaining that there's female characters in this game, and then he was like, he's like, this, this guy has fucking meltdowns over this all the time, talking about me. And like I started to comment back on it, and I was like, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna right, fall right, into right. this trap." But then this other guy was like, "Yeah, it's it's not about social justice warriors; it's about the bottom line." It's like they're just trying to make money because females are gamers too, 
and they want to be represented in the game. And then I looked it up, and the stats are like gamers, 48% of gamers are female. But the study was counting like Candy Crush and like that as gaming. Yeah, it's like just, be, it was just a, and shit. It was just a weird thing. Sure. And also, I mean, I'm, I'm losing what the fuck I'm trying to talk about here because this, it does fucking annoy me and I don't yeah. want to come off as. Well, they skewed the snap. They, well, they, they skewed, skewed the stats. Yeah, yeah. To make it be like, see, women love video games too. Yeah. And it's like, no, they don't. They why why are we pretending that they do? Yeah. I don't get it. But then, anyway, there shouldn't be girls in World War II games. Right. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's. <laughs> what did you say something about it, Steve? Well, I, <laughs> I'm smart, dude. What if I told you that the women... I'm more hung up about the robot arm. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, well, the robot arm is ridiculous. I, I said to Shane they had to give her a robot was arm. Was she... Now, the, the only question like I asked... fantasy aspect. Was yeah. there some sort of brigade of women, British women, that fought? And then would that no. make... It, okay, then... Well, dude, <laughs> and to get out of the... Even the, the... It's not even a... It's not even necessarily that it's a woman. It's like, remember when you played the Metal... Or not Metal, uh, Call of Duties... And it turned into like weird zombie apocalypse shit. Yeah, I know. That pissed yeah. me off. That was like, yeah, this sucks. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Like when you're shooting, ro- I'm like, I don't want to shoot robots the whole time. So it's not even like it's a girl. It's like, it's just, just weird. Yeah, it's, and it's just preference. Like I wanted to play a realistic World War II video game. Mm-hmm. Not. You don't want a girl. I don't want to pretend, pretend world. Yeah. I want it to be, but then again, I mean, there's, there's holes all over this thing. It's well, a it's fucking, like, it's a video game and it's like. Yeah. I didn't but, have a problem with Nazi zombies, so it's weird to be like, there were no women on the front lines. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, what let's else? go back to weird shit you do. No, no, I, I, yeah, it's a tough one. So I mean, me I, addressing the haters, dude. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't, I don't know how... You don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's Thank fine. You. Thank it doesn't you. make you a Thank sexist you for wanting for it being to be a historically purist, accurate. purist, bro. I'm a fucking purist. Yeah, exactly. So that's fine. You're exactly right, Steven. It is fine. <laughs> What's that guy who should stop making fun of you, man? I wish that guy would stop online bullying me, too. Yeah. He should listen to our first lady, our gorgeous first lady. Is, is she on bullying right now? She was. I think she was anti-bullying, nice. which is funny because Trump daddy is the ultimate. Yeah, I mean... Dude, yeah, we're back to Trump, dude. No, Get I know, it going. I'm away from it, dude. I won't, I won't talk about Steve, it. Steve, you love Trudeau. Trudeau? Uh, I don't know enough about him, but I'm not a... He would peg... He would, get he would definitely. Pay. I just know that he he addressed like Women's Day at a place that had segregated women because it was like uh, they were Muslim women, so they had to be segregated from the men. He was like upholding how great women's achievement was. Really gigantic irony of trying to be multicultural. Oh, by include, I got you. That's hilarious. So he went to like a he went to like gave a speech to like a Muslim brigade about celebrating brigade. women, <laughs> where the women were segregated. That's <laughs> what was he wearing? He's, oh, he's, he's known to don like. Oh, oh, I don't dark. know. I don't know. He probably went to like a bunch of Pakistanis. And was like, Namaste, everybody. <laughs> yeah, women rule. Uh. It's like, what interactions have people had in their lives where they don't get? Positive feedback from being honest with people. If you, if you like with your neighbors or anything yeah. like that, like if you're just honest, you don't have to be mean, mm-hmm. but you can be honest. And it's like, why? What the fuck? He clearly does not think that segregating women is a good idea. Why can't you just say, I don't think this is a good idea? Yeah. This is just not our. He right. wouldn't say it there? No, of course not. He was like celebrating you know, our differences and women and da da da. That's weird. That sucks for him. You know, you, you, I like the way you did that. So why do you do it on Women's Day, though? Just to be like, what's up, Muslims? We're all celebrating Women's Day. It's cool that you guys don't really do that kind of stuff. I, I, I don't I love know. you guys, too, though. Yeah, I don't know. Well, guys, That's you weird. guys are. Over, That's weird. You guys, no. You guys are coming at this. Do, from, I have that, do I have that right? He went and said, like, it's Women's Day, but I also get that you guys kind of like. Drop kick your wives. Hey, <laughs> <That's>, hey, <laughs> no, that's totally See, cool. This is no, this is, from would, a is that what he was doing to an effect? It's it seemed. I mean, it's certainly. Wait, not, where like, did he give the speech? Well, I'll have to look it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. This, wait, start this over. So he was speaking to Should Muslim people. Should we pause people? it and look no, it no, up? No, no, no. Who cares if we're <laughs> yeah, right? Who cares about the facts, <laughs> yeah. What was it? Speaking about women's equality. At. At a mosque oh, that okay. was segregating women. Oh, because they got to sit in the back kind right. of thing. They got to sit in the back of the mosque. Yes. Nice. 
And he was like, women are cool too. And they're like, Allah. <laughs> <laughs> like, move out of the way. Anyway, that's a, that's the extent to which I know of him. Heard he does that. seem like a nice person, though. True Honestly, up. yeah. Yeah, he seems like a great guy. Yeah, right, dude. If I saw him, I'd kick him right You over. would fucking tap him. I'm all about, I'm about Howie right now. Who's How are Howie? you? Howie's this guy. He's from Philly. And he's following Joe Biden around at speaking engagements. And be like, why don't you tell him about that time you touched those little girls, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> he's done it already once. He got kicked out. <laughs> then he got front row seats. And he's like, uh, yeah, I got a question. He's Cameron the whole time. He goes, how about that time you touched those girls in the swearing in <laughs> ceremony? What's up? You want to talk about that? And dude, everyone's like, oh, get the fuck out of here. Everyone's yelling at him, dude. He's like, oh, why are you yelling at me? Dude, the video is so fucking oh, funny. Man. He's like, yeah, well, he did it. And then he's like, don't you hear him? Like, don't fucking touch me, you think, dude. You think Joe, Joe Biden's touching kids? I've watched the videos. He he is weird with kids, dude. Where like, like, if you're like, dude, all this weekend I had my... Uh, my girlfriend's like nieces. They're like four and five. They're on my lap. You know, you're playing with them and shit. And ba- dude, you're grabbing some tits. You know how to touch a kid. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not. You're not. You know, you're like, I'm like, t- it was actually funny. I was talking to this, like, I think she was like five. And she was sitting on my lap. She was talking to me. She pointed to my girlfriend. She was like, Is that your mommy? And I was like, Yeah, that's my mommy. She's like, Your mommy's black. And I was like, Yeah, I got a black mommy. She goes, I have a black mommy too. And I was like, Nice. And we were just on the side. <laughs> no one heard what we were talking about. <laughs> but then you see Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is really funny. You see Joe Biden and he'll like grab like a seven year old girl's hair and start like caressing around her ears and like yeah. put his face in his hair and smell it. And it's like, I definitely wasn't doing that. If I had done that, people would be like, Matt, like, that's enough. Like, yeah. Thanks for the, like, don't, don't let Matt around your kids. He exhibits behavior that's like, where he'll like put his arm, taking a picture, his hand will be like on a girl's chest, like, on seven a young year old girl, girls. But on, and it's like, you don't touch a seven year old girl on her chest, dude. It's like, it's weird for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the videos are out there too. It's, they're not anywhere. But this guy confronted him about it. And like, dude, you hear him turn around, like, get the fuck, don't touch me, dude. Don't <laughs> fucking touch me. Tell him to explain it. I don't know why you're mad at me, dude. It's so funny. Um, yeah, shout out to Howie. Little kids, though, <laughs> it is uncomfortable to be around. Yeah. I was walking the Finn Man. And I was at the park by my parents' house, and this little girl came up and was like, can I pet your dog? And I'm just some weird dude how old were you? in the park. This just happened this week. I mean, I mean I'm sorry. How old was she? Nine. Uh, yeah. Like it's, I'm like by myself with a dog in the park wearing like gym shorts and a Ramones t-shirt, <laughs> <laughs> like walking around looking like me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, cool. yeah, I'm like, beat it, kid. Get the fuck out of here. Two to like six or seven, I'm like, you know, you, you play with them, whatever. Once a girl hits like nine, I'm kind of like... Dude, go yeah, once get, they're hot. Go get your fucking parents. <laughs> once yeah. they get hot. Even like 12, yeah. It's that's like, when they're real hot. That's when like, you gotta be like, get out of yeah, here. Get yeah, out yeah. Of here. Where's, get a fucking adult around here, please. <laughs> I just don't want to, like, if I was like, saw some dude in the field talking to my nine year old daughter, I'd I know. Fucking I know, sprint. I know. That's the thing. I, was, like, dude, I mean, obviously, there was she was just petting the dog. Of it was, there no, was nothing. It was totally innocent. But in, in, the, in my head, while I was like, hey, yeah, his name's Finn, she's like, what kind yeah. of dog is it? I'm like, the whole time I was talking to her in my head, I was like, you gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. This looks, this looks. Horror. <laughs> this looks like yeah. This looks like the beginning of a fucking CSI. <laughs> She's like, "What kind of dog is it?" I'm like, "You want to take him home with me? <laughs> you want to walk back to my parents' basement?" <laughs> I will say, I enjoyed hanging out with. It was, I think, yeah, it was like a three year old and a five year old. Yeah, spent a lot of time them. with them. They're so fucking funny. Yes. They are hilarious. Jesus Christ, they're so funny. There, I gave her a glass of water and put it in like a plastic wine cup because that was like the only one I had clean. And she was like. She's like, this is what my mommy drinks out of. I was like, yeah, yeah. Sorry, everyone, so like, like, everyone starts laughing at her. And then like, I'm like, here, drink it. She's like, I can't drink out of this glass. And I'm like, it's just water, dude. It was so funny. Oh, like, no, man. this is my mommy. Dude, I was dying. That's great. Because even the they fact are... that they like run up to you, you throw one up in the air, the other one's like, oh, I want to do that. And they keep doing it yeah, back yeah, and yeah. forth, back and forth. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like, I'm just like watching how much fun they're having. And it, to me, I'm like, this is insane. It's so much fun right now. <laughs> yes. Best is throwing them around in the pool. Oh, my dude. Through tossing kids around. I dudes. love tossing it's a kid the in the pool. the best thing in the world. That's great. So it fun. is. You like I, it? Yeah, because I'd be going up every Sunday with my niece and nephew. Oh, I saw that video you posted. Yeah. and uh, <laughs> But with Jake now, he's he's a three, but he's very comfortable around me. So uh-huh. like when we're in the pool, he's like, I want to go under. So he so he let me be the first one to take him under. Oh, that's awesome! It was so cool. And then, uh, but now like I'm just throwing him. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. and just like yeah. he's still his splashies with his poof. And then he <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's amazing watching how much fun they have with shit. Just, just like sitting somewhere and talking, they're like completely. When they go under their like babble, the five year old is talking to me. Yeah, and it was just like, uh huh, oh wow, cool, uh huh, dude. She's yeah. talking to me for like four. Her mom was just like, here, yeah, please take her. Yeah, forty five. Because that shit gets old. Nonstop. <laughs> that dribble, mom was dude. happy to oh, be yeah. like, all right. They were just they would look over every now and again and laugh and see her like. And I have it. She told me about her dog like fifty times. My dog is white and black. And That's like me big. with Finn, dude. I keep <laughs> yeah. looking over there and be like, look at him. Look at how it's cute true. that guy is. It's true. For the listener, this, the Finn brings Shane an enormous amount of joy. I, yeah, I know. It's, it's weird. I'm, uh, it's not weird. It's great. I love, I love animals. Yeah. It's your father got, reflexes, got, dude. They're kicking in right now. I'm it's like, like how a, if a duck's born and doesn't see an adult, it just or like an adult yeah, duck, yeah, yeah. it latches. Yeah. You're just imprinting on him. Yeah. It happens to me with my two dogs, dude. Yeah. I come nice. in, tuck them in at night. I'm like, good night, guys. You're good boys. That's a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> Trying real hard here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, I was watching Sopranos with Chris, and he always makes fun of me for being like Tony when it comes to like being a dickhead to everyone. But then like I see an animal, and I'm like, look at that guy. Yeah, I love, yeah, that. I love that dog. That's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I love that when the therapist keeps bringing up the ducks. Like, Stop talking about the Don't talk about my fucking ducks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So... Uh, I do want to keep this going because I don't know when we're going to record. What, what are we at? Time uh, we're we're like an hour and a half. 50. Hour and 50. Oh, yeah. yeah we could always trim the beginning when I was talking boringly about No, no that wasn't you being boring. That was me being insecure. It was Shane being neurotic. Yeah. That was me being unhappy with things. Um, do you want to end it or take a break? Take a break. Let's we'll, take a break we'll and we'll home. decide, yeah. We back. We're back. Be back live, dude. Yes. Yo, so I, uh, I've been reading this book. Audiobook all week, and it's all about <laughs> yeah. it's all about um, this like doctor who got really into like mushrooms and done, doing like mushroom and LSD research. Michael Pollan. Uh, fuck, I forget his name. There's a couple of them, but okay. I think and I, I think that is that might be his name. It's called Changing Your Mind. Yeah. This book, dude, I want to do mushrooms so bad right now. So I'm, I'm really? a total mushroom head right now, dude. The way they describe this shit is like, like they they have centers where you go in. This is what they're trying to legalize. So they'll have a place where, like, you're with a doctor. They got all your vitals and everything taken care of. So you're not, you know, you're in like total medical hands. And then you're sitting there with a therapist. And then they give you, like, seven grams of mushrooms or whatever. I think, it, no, it's five. But it's, like, a total, like, um, synthetic. So you don't get, like, sick or anything. They give it to you. And they just guide you through, like, like a mystical experience. And it's, like, I want to do this. It was, like, to the point where I was, like, Find me a fucking space. I'm going to open up one of these places, dude. But then I was like, yeah. I was like explaining to someone how I want to set it up. And they're like, yeah, you just need an apartment, dude. You can just do this in an yeah, apartment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you need a legal yeah. location because it's not legal. Yeah, it would just be, I was like telling them like, well, like set it up in like a warehouse. You can like sit in it and there'll be a couch and it'll be like a TV. And they're like, yeah, dude, you mean like an apartment? And people can just do mushrooms by themselves. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I want to be there though. <laughs> but yeah, so in my head, I'm like, dude, I want mushrooms so bad. I uh, I want to I want to do if I could sign up for one of those studies I would in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's like my only concern is like are these you know if I'm health the guy's like yo dude you're reading fine you're healthy some psychiatrist is like yo bro let's talk about this you're totally cool someone to talk me down dude that'd be awesome that'd be a fucking blast that would I, I need that to become legal that would make I do it like once twice a year that would make me like weed so much more what? if I had like somebody there to be like you're great dude that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just be like, yo, dude, got the heart on monitor. You're totally Everything's cool. Everything's great. You're not breathing weird. We got the charts of your breathing. It's not weird. Here's some dude. You I'd know. still be like, I know it's weird. Your machines are wrong. <laughs> Let me out of this facility. <laughs> what you're doing is wrong. <laughs> I am a human being. <laughs> I want, dude. Yeah, so that's been... I, I've been, I've been, you. I've been mushroom crazy all week, dude. Really? I listen to that Joe Rogan with Paul Stamets. I'll fucking mush out with you. That's what I'm saying, dude. I want to get a little... I'll mush cat. out with you. I get what are you doing Thursday? Trying to mush? You should mush out. I gotta find. I'll mush with you. I gotta find mushes. My girlfriend would be pissed when she hears this. Are you <laughs> doing drugs, <laughs> dude? <laughs> mushrooms are tell. She I said did. I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna come clean. She I, said that to Paul Stamets. I took. Dude. I took some mushrooms. A little chocolate. Was, that chocolate. Matt had this concoction <laughs> that was like, what was it? It was like weed oil and mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. I had a few cocktails, and me and Beezer were like, let's fucking, let's try one of these. Let's split this thing. Uh, so I'd never, I've never done shrooms, really. I've never done shrooms. So, yeah. like, I was sitting there and it, I was like, this just feels like weed at first because there was weed in it. Yeah. 
And then slowly I started, like, I could feel it. Yeah. It was like, I've never done shrooms, so it was like a full on fight. I was like, whoa. It's a whoa. weird experience. I ended up just watching Dan Soder do Macho Man impressions <laughs> for literally for like three hours. And I, was, I was fully like, this is the best thing ever. This is. <laughs> This is the best impersonation I've ever seen. Watch Dan Soder do Macho Man. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's so, and he does ISIS, ISIS Macho Man. He's oh like, God. Letting, the, <laughs> letting the Jew pig run your country, not going to happen anymore. Oh, yeah. He's like, We're going to rain down on you. It's, uh, it's the so swords of justice. Bend to the top. Met Allah. <laughs> Dude, it's so, I'm not even he, close. He, gets, he hit those like, yeah. Yeah, oh, hits, yeah. And he's got the hands, dude. Oh, he's like, dude. bend to the top. Met Allah. Came back down. Dude, it's, dude, it's he, unreal you how You gotta good put it is. a link to it, dude. It's and I was, so I was fucking funny. I was on shrooms for the first time. I was like, oh my God. Dude, this is this is incredible. This is it. And then we started watching uh, Macho Man highlights. And I was on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> it was the fun, dude. Seeing your kid. Imagine being a dad. And you come in and your little boy's watching TV. And it's just some yoked out... Coked up steroid dude on the screen that's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. you Hulk Hogan, you think you're tough? Oh yeah, well let me tell you something. It's just like you walk into a room, your kid's sitting Indian style in front of that. You're like, what the fuck are you? What, what is this? When the WWF was new, oh, and it like must fucking, been crazy. And fucking Ultimate Warrior was coming on the TV, just oh. like screaming crazy shit at your kid. I mean, in Mexico, it hit quick, dude. Mexico, they, they, well, all, they, they all slid their silver luchador masks on and jumped right on board. Mexico was they, prime. Mexico loves professional <laughs> wrestling, dude. It's crazy. Were you guys the ones who brought up... Uh, <laughs> they slipped all those masks over their head, dude? It's over. Dude, is it, well, if, if you're white trash, you're in. You're all in on... Mag, on, on yeah. ra- also, black people. They like, they'd be like, There's a lot oh, of love, fucking right. black wrestling fans, which I, right. I remember when I was a kid, I went on my friend's birthday party. We went to WWF. Yeah. Which was fucking sick. And uh, I remember because for some reason I didn't think black people liked wrestling. I never even thought about it. And there was a bunch <laughs> of black dudes behind me that were just yelling. And this is like fourth grade, and I'll never forget what they were yelling. They were they like, smack them with your tits, China. <laughs> they were talking to China. <laughs> and I just remember black dudes behind me being like, take your titties out. <laughs> I, was, I was like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's such a funny formative experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a sex video too. Night and in China. she's dead. Yes. She died. Yeah, she, oh, she, died. she well, she went out the same way Bourdain did. She was like, I've accomplished. She, she was like, I've accomplished everything, and she went out. Happy. Kill <laughs> she <laughs> killed herself in a happy. <laughs> she, went <out> happy. <laughs> she went out happy. God, that's how this whole thing started. Um, <laughs> um, were you guys the ones that uh, sent this link or not? But there was, uh, I think it was like Booker T. He was a wrestler, oh, and dude, he dropped the N word. He drops the N word, and it's the funniest thing. Have you ever, seen it? Dude. Booker T's not. He's white. Though. He's black. Booker T's black <laughs> as fuck. How do you mean he dropped the N-word? Well, he said the N-word on TV. Oh. Which he said he called Hulk Hogan the N-word. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it, dude. I, I'm going to say it. I don't care. He's like, he's like, after Lex Luthor, we want the gold, sucker. He's like, Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right when he says it, he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he puts his hand over his face. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to watch it because his partner is Stevie Ray. <laughs> Steve, is Harlem Heat was his partner. It's just huge. This guy's got to be like six eight, six nine, dude. This guy's gigantic. He does not flinch at all, dude. When Booker T says the N word, Stevie Ray's just like hell yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. We are here to fuck shit up, dude. But yeah, you need to watch Booker T's reaction as soon as he said he's like, "We're coming for you." And he's like, God damn it. <laughs> One more wrestling thing because. When they introduced the Shockmaster, I've showed you that, right? No. Oh, oh the God. Shockmaster. The yes, Shockmaster yes. is the funniest, <laughs> the funniest fucking thing you will ever see, dude. This is so Google uh, or you go to YouTube and type in Shockmaster. Yeah. And the introduction of this guy is like wrestling because the acting is so funny. It's a bunch of roided out dudes that are like, "We're gonna fuck you up," and the other guy's like, "Well, we got a secret partner, and he's gonna shock the world." None other than the shock master. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, this guy's supposed to come out of a wall and he just falls. 
<laughs> he just falls into the room. And his, his mask was a storm, a bedazzled stormtrooper mask. He's this big, giant, fat guy. And when he falls out, his mask falls off. <laughs> He's got to like scramble to pick it up and put it back on. Who the fuck thinks of wrestling know, characters, dude? Oh, my God. It must have been so fucking funny to think of him now, like on a recliner with a beard, being like, I had it. I was all <laughs> well, there. He was, according to this thing I watched about it, he was set to be like the next big character. Oh, but he but tripped. then his intro, when he tripped, everyone was like, ah, Shot what a loser. Shockmaster's a fucking loser. <laughs> Imagine the bitterness of that. Oh, fuck. You, you didn't crave any wrestlers? I was the dice, I was dice man. No. What's I, this? I, well, you, I was saying... <laughs> you were dice man? What are you talking about? <laughs> we created wrestlers. When you know, you we, yeah, we take the, the pillows off the couch. Yeah, and you have wrestling matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so my character was Dice Man. And I had uh, <laughs> like the, the dice that you'd hang over your windshield wiper. Or, so or your rear view mirror. And that was like my special thing that I'd throw around your ankle. <laughs> Um, oh. I'm just thinking about I'm thinking about the Shockmaster dude at home living with his wife. Yeah, dude. His wife's talking shit. And he's in the recliner. Eventually, he just gets up and does a full running clothesline. Like, I couldn't answer my. Holy fuck, dude! But yeah, mush- oh mushrooms. God. And also, I'm gonna let that dice man slide. <laughs> I'm gonna let you off the hook on that corny no, you're shit. You're a little kid. You're a little kid. You're having fun. <laughs> we used to, me and my cousins used to make stuffed animals have sex in the basement. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, but we'd like, I'd be like, oh, wait, 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 what'd you do? We yeah. used to go down the basement and play with toys. We were like, little, it was, I rem- I literally remember when I was kind of a little too old for toys. Yes. I kind of still play with them for a little bit. Yeah, but once you start making them fuck, you're too old. <laughs> you're too old for toys. <laughs> That's I got out, I got out of there just in time. That's a good rule of thumb because I think we stopped playing with toys after. We had a bunch of stuffed animals out in the basement. I remember we were like, it was like a bunny and like a stu- some other like a stuffed giraffe. And like it was my sister's beanie babies. Right. And I was yeah, I knew it was gonna be beanie babies. I was making my sister's beanie babies fuck down my basement. And my two cousins were watching. We we're all taking turns <laughs> making them fuck. And my dad came down. I was like, "What are you doing with all these beanie babies?" And we were just like, "And all we're just playing with beanie babies." <laughs> oh, I have one more story then before uh, we go because. No, we're good. Speaking of that, so my cousin uh, and well, like we had, the, we tried to f- these stuff. We had, we had. Uh, there's no easy way to say this. You guys had sex when you wrestled? No, <laughs> but we had. There was these uh, stuffed the kangaroos <laughs> that, uh, that 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 was like my elementary school, and yeah. it was like save the kangaroos. So we bought the... Wait, save the kangaroos? It was one of those things where it was like... <laughs> There's too many kangaroos. That's, I don't know it, what it was. For whatever foundation. reason, it was like, donate money, you get this stuffed kangaroo. Okay. Gotcha. And that was like, you know, my brother and I each had one when we were like little for a while. It's a good charity scam, dude. Yeah. You're like, just be like, save the squirrels when you're in India. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> So then later, like, uh, when my cousin and I were coming of age, like, we figured that you could fuck the pocket of the kangaroo. I mean, you could fuck the pocket. Yeah, yeah. To, to see what, like, a vagina would be. So you fucked the stuff. I knew you fucked the stuffed animal. Did I not say that? I called it right away. I was like, you fucked the stuffed animal. And at one point, animal. his mom, like, knocked on the door that he is. He's digging a kangaroo pouch. <laughs> he answers the door and he like does he clearly something's up. <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> and he's like, nothing. <laughs> and she just started. And then my mom later pulled me aside. She's like, did Ted, that was his dad. He's like, did he give Joey a Playboy? Because something's going on. He's like, like, you know, like she like just thought that it was a porn night. <laughs> right, right. No, no, no. We were just taking turns fucking a kangaroo. Wait, you guys were <laughs> running a train on it? You guys were fucking it? T- together? You guys were both fucking it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had separates, but. There were, wait. So you guys had both had kangaroo. <laughs> you guys both had your kangaroo wives. So they opened the door and his mom knew instinctively. No, no, no. She <laughs> said, <laughs> no, no, no. Going on. The door she was locked. I'm sure she knew just oh, by. Oh, the door was locked. Yeah, so guys... he had to answer it, but he he answered it in such a way. Yeah, it, clearly there was some fucking. <laughs> like, imagine and I'm like under the covers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell your kangaroo to be quiet? Be like, shh, 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 shh. someone's coming. What, what time of the day was this? It was like three in the afternoon. You guys were late in bed. Yeah, it was like daylight. And then I, I remember I could, <laughs> when she knocked on the door and she was like, what's going on there? Was he like, good day. I mean, uh, nothing, nothing. Oh and then God. I know my friend at the time, this kid, Ben, uh, <laughs> I kept like he he slept there and I was like trying to convince him to do it and he was like that's so fucking gross <laughs> and then he they gave like, it a shot 
What's that? Did you peer pressure him into it? No, no. Ah. He, he, he had like he the hardest I ever heard him laugh because he, uh, I was like, I was like, it's, it's, you know, it's like, I don't, I, there's, I don't know how it happened. I was based, I had it on my dick. You were, like, right you were demonstrating him. Yeah, but so I'm under the covers. But if you fucking can't And then he pouch. pulled the covers off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you had kangaroo dick. <laughs> well, you, so you have the kangaroo you're upside down. So you're fucking a kangaroo's pouch. You're holding it upside down. Yeah. yeah. So you're yeah, just right. skull fucking this thing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> like, did you did you like only let it ride out, or did you ever get on top of it? How'd you work it? Did well, you ever hit it from behind. <laughs> I yeah, I think I all I can remember is like it on top. <laughs> Kang on top. Yeah. Dude, get that Kang up there. <laughs> let it bounce, dude. Let it do what it does. <laughs> let it bounce. That's, dude, that is so fucking wow, funny. Wow, dude. So your friend ripped the covers off while you were fucking the roo? Yeah, just like laughed at me. And I was just like, bang, put it on my Jesus it's fucking like how Christ. how sensible he was at the time. He I know, like, good no. for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't fuck that stuff down, dude. Get <laughs> He's like, dude, you're weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, it's like a pussy. And, you know, I mean, it's that, like, that could be taken as like almost like an instinctive inter- intervention. I'm like a childhood, like, dude, don't fuck stuffed animals, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something in his DNA was like, it's not good to fuck things. <laughs> That's so yeah. fucking funny. Anyway. That's hilarious. Oh, man. We, I think got, we should we, probably we should wrap yeah, it up on yeah, that. Yeah, We're not going to beat the kangaroo. Nah, dude. Um, Show the kangaroo ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, oh, Friday. This Friday, I'll be at Lancaster. Lancaster, PA, at 551 West. In Lancaster, nice. PA, Friday night. Come to that. Um, other than that, I got nothing. Nice. Same here. I'm just chilling. Steve, chilling. go to Steve's Steve talk Gerben, too. Dude. When we when we get the day to the talk, dude. Holy fuck, we're gonna have you on again before the talk because you are a fucking train treasure wreck. Chest, just a, dude. I was gonna say train wreck. Um. <laughs> 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 treasure chests also. Wow, it's a pleasure. <laughs> you did all the best, heavy. You did so all the heavy lifting. You're the best, man. Yeah. I'm pun- it's uh, as like I said, it's always disappointing if I'm on because I'm. I always look forward to that. You know, reloading in the podcast thing. I'm like, ah, oh, you're but. Because it with the, especially the work that I, do, I know you gotta go, but it's like with trademarking, it's just like, it's right. nice to it's nice to like have something to listen to that you want to hear. Nah, you're gonna want to yeah. listen to this again. Yeah, yeah, I like to hear. I love hearing myself yeah. on other people's podcasts. Uh, okay. yeah, this yeah, one, yeah. I'll, I'm every other week on this. Sometimes I'll go back and listen to it. Sometimes I'm yeah, I didn't listen to last week's. Me either. I've, I, I get anxiety sometimes with ours. I don't care. I don't listen to me on shit that I think I sounded like a pretentious douche. Well, I made a vow today to myself that I'm like I'm just. Totally gonna stop trying to explain. I know. As soon as, as soon as I hear myself talking about anything serious, I'm just like, shut up. See, I but, listen, when I listen to myself talking uh, politics, I'm just like, great points, Matt. Great dude, points. And I, I don't gonna, really care. I'm gonna dread listening to the part where I was like, women in video games. Like that see, will bother dude, me. That'll bother see, me. See, I, I know that, but I, I just hmm. push back on that slightly yeah. because you, 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 the way in which you kind of feather that is is really good, I think, and it's important to have a voice like that where it's just like. You know, it's it's not like an all-in scenario. It's like I'm working through this idea, and the price you have to pay for it is feeling insecure about it. But that's what I like hearing you talk about things. Oh well, thank you. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, also uh, now I'm back onto it. I'm reliving me uh, getting online shamed this past week. They were like, "What's it like?" They were saying I was threatened by women, which is why I didn't want. That's the best part. It's like, dude, I'm not thre- I'm not threatened by. There's there's plenty of female video games. Yeah. I have no problem with that. I'm not out here like Tomb Raider. That should be a fucking guy, dude. Yeah, Laura Croft. Or you're not like you don't see like I, that when I when you told me that yesterday. It's like I've never like seen a girl and been like, oh god, I gotta. I gotta I'm stop. threatened, like, dude. Like, she's coming. She's coming to take all my power. Exactly. All the power dude. that I have. It's crazy. That's yeah. insane to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also like you're if they're the zombies that you don't like in the video game, you're not upset that there are female zombies. No. You're just upset about the zombies. Yeah, but see, here's it's, another thing. Here's another thing. The zombie thing is a separate mode. Than the fucking game. Ah, it's like a bonus that's, game. So it's like, here's the science fiction version of World War II. Right. Which is where the fucking women should be. Right. It's like, hey, here's pure fiction about World War II. <laughs> right, right. But then again, again, you can punch holes in this all the time. Because then it's like, you're a World War II character. You run around, you kill 900 fucking people. Oh. It's like, all right, well, that's ridiculous. But, uh... Still. Yeah, let's... Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, you gotta... Dude, I'm telling you, I, I told Shane this yesterday... I'm a big present moment guy, dude. I'm all mindfulness now. So yeah. I stay in the present moment. You whatever are. I Steve, just said. put those hemorrhoids back down. Whatever I just said <laughs> 10 minutes ago is gone. Is gone. What I'm about to do in the future, the next. don't even think about it. On to the next. I'm straight up. I'm in my, I've been in my Zen bag. Well, I mean, I, I aspire to get there. 
I but I'm, I'm stuck in the. I'm stuck in the. Tell Shane if I even past. catch myself mentally kind of inhabiting like the future or even the mostly the future. I don't really dwell on the past. But I'm more of like a future head where I'll start being like, and then this is going to happen, and I'm going to do this, and then, and then, and then, and then, and I just go, literally, I just call for myself. Just, I'm just like, Matt, come back. And I just sit back and I'm just like. <laughs> oh, I love that. Dude, and I just come back what to center. What do you mean you love that? I just Don't come fucking back. support Matt. this. Don't support this weird. I just come back to center, dude, and I'm, I'm just like this. And I'm like, all right, I'm just sitting in a chair right now. Everything's totally cool. I have all my food I need. I'm well, warm. Totally fine. That's, yeah. I'm like, that has been nice for me. Well, my thing, uh, well, the reason I love it is because I will find myself doing that again where I'm like laying, I'll just like lay on my bed and then I'm lost in thought about either like what could be or, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, Steve, knock it off, get up <laughs> yeah. and go edit. Yeah. Or you're either going to do push ups or you're going to go edit or you're going to do this. It's like, stop. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Stop. How about if, if we have time here and you're comfortable with it, could you tell us what happened to your abs? Yeah. Why? What? Remember that date you were on? Yeah. What date? Remember that girl who yeah, was like, yeah. she liked abs? Yeah. Oh, but no, but it turned out to be an actual issue, I think. Well, no, but I think the story, and then you guys aren't together anymore. No, right? no. All right. Well, I had thought, I had, <laughs> she said she liked abs, and I did so many sit-ups that I, I like hurt my stomach. She said she liked abs, so Steve went home and did ab work Eight for abs, like two yeah. weeks straight of nonstop ab work. How's and then, your abs looking good though? Yes. And then they went out to yes. they went out to dinner and he had like stomach cramps. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't eat, so she broke up with him. Well, no, 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 yes. But I had stomach cramps, but then I assumed it was like other things, so that I had a massive panic attack. Makes and then sense. I was like, I can't talk right now. You have to do the talking. It's too loud. <laughs> oh, that's a missing part of the element. So you were there, like you were just kind of bugging out quietly in front of this girl. Yes. Yeah, she can't. You can't let you can't let your bitch see you be weak like that. So That's what I'm saying. You're right. Yeah. That's well, you're soon. doing a lot of these, like where you touch your chest and you're like, <clears throat> you're yeah. like looking at her and she's like, "Are you okay?" And you're Precisely. like, "You're like, I'm fine." <laughs> no, I did tell her. I was like, "I feel like I can't breathe, so uh, I'm gonna need you to do most of the talking." And That's then I complained about the noise. And then I just I went <laughs> turned. I literally I like unzipped my face and became Larry sure David. Guys? And I was like, "It's too loud. <laughs> who what, like who who actually enjoys this? I have to scream at you. That's fucking crazy." <laughs> Damn. Maybe you should just flex your abs and be like, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check these out. I just love the storyline of you. It is great. Like with a chick, and she's like, "I like abs," and you you like her be enough right that back. you like work yeah. hard, and then you go to dinner and you're like, "My stomach's cramping," and she's like, <laughs> "You're a piece of shit. I'm leaving you." <laughs> <laughs> did you guys did you guys hook up at all? We did that night, but what uh, what happened when you guys hooked up? She was on her period. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what happened so what did you guys do uh, we, like we made out and anything else yeah you know there's like a lot of bumping and grinding was anybody in their underpants well she was what was she doing Oh, you know man, doing things hard. what no, sorry I'm getting yeah. hard so oh, she's sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll stop being so good it, no yeah, what, what happened hard, dude. Uh, so she's in her <laughs> underpants she was in her underpants <laughs> yes what kind of uh, my and so, so anyway yeah, but she, so what kind of underpants they were like flannel Dude, man. But anyway, so but it, she, she, she it was there was a lot like she was doing some good stuff like she was working yeah. herself back yeah 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 and that was really did, nice did but you then a, did you have an erection of course yes did you was crumb? she touching it no she wasn't so then I just started beating off so you just started what? jerking what? off yeah <laughs> so you so, her. yeah up, well no no that's a reasonable thing because she up. said because she goes oh you're just jerking off I was like what? yes <laughs> it's a reasonable thing to do right now. I'm just like I'm no you, sucking her tits and jerking off a little bit. That's not like I was you're sucking her tits and jerking off. Yeah. Yo, oh. No, you can't tell. You can't jerk yourself off. Yes, you can. Nah. I, I would say you gotta. They, you gotta like. Yeah. You First of all, it wasn't. Not, you can't start the genital party, dude. But you can't start it. That you gotta way. let her rub. I, huh? I had been rubbing. Huh? I had been rubbing. I do. Things I'm were gonna out. Tell you, I'm gonna I just, tell and you. it was. I just gave it a few. I wasn't doing a full on. I'm not so saying you're, you're bad. I didn't say you did anything bad. I'm just saying from so a tactful were, perspective. And this is post dinner. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is after the silent dinner where you freaked out. <laughs> yes. And then she you got into she, she, <laughs> she got into her flannel undies. Yeah. And you were sucking her tits and you jerked off. I didn't ejaculate. <laughs> and then I, she broke I, off. With pumped the it a few <laughs> times. You were just edging to get it. You just edge. Just. <laughs> I mean, it's out. I hear you. I never thought of that move. I might start doing that now myself. I here's the thing. Like, I just love hearing you talk about 
anything sexual. <laughs> and just you being like, she was in her underpants. Wait, was that, I was rubbing your moves as far, though? Just fucking... No, no, no. <laughs> it was just a thing. So far, two sexual stories you've told have just been you jerking off. <laughs> it was just a thing. It was just like, you're I was doing that. You were in the moment. Yeah, I mean, now that you're saying it, now I do feel cr- creepy about doing that because she didn't instigate. But yeah, you any- can't just jerk off while you're making out with someone. <laughs> <laughs> but she, but she, I mean, kind of but I was like I mean, rubbing her can't. vagina. Oh, okay. So you're, you know, you're hitting it over a pain. Everything. She was grinding her vagina on it. I mean, you're. I mean, you can go to show and tell and jerk off. It's thirty bucks. <laughs> you do it. Well, I mean, I, anybody else that I've I mean interacted I'm, with. In a sexual way like that has never had a problem with it because it's like a lot of they were also like watching that. They say, oh, yeah. I like watching you jerk off. I mean, if a, if a chick did it while you were making out with her, that would it, be oh it's hot. God. phenomenal. And then I was also, you know, like because I'm doing that and then smacking her. Oh, you were hitting her with your dick? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Steve. So there's yeah. things no, going on. a different thing, man. That's, yeah. Now you're jerking and slapping. It's now you're like, sword fighting. Now there's a little play involved. Now you're fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, there was, what did she, what was her, like, was she like at any point like, Chill, or is she just kind of like nice? Or how does she respond to it? She was fine. Like she, she just wanted me to say like dirty things to her, Ooh. which was easy. Man, she's in her, I love something about a girl getting in her underwear. It's just fucking it's great, fantastic. It but is. then, the, so Especially the problem with that, the problem with that though was so then the <laughs> next day, I. Uh, <clears throat> Especially I, when she's on her period wearing flannel <laughs> underwear and you just start jerking off while you're kissing. <laughs> that's, dude, that's the best Well, move. I didn't eat at dinner <laughs> because of the cramps. So I uh, I dude, jerked off that's during so dinner. She was in her underpants. Funny. <laughs> so, I never even thought of that. But but the, uh, the the way that that ended then was because... So then the next day, yeah, uh, I, had, I was just like hit her up to be like... I wanted to try and get O'Connor and her... Around, you know, because it's like he's so rock solid. I was, I was like, this will introduce you to my first friend. Yeah, and you like should go introduce out, her to me. Go, you know, introduce her to O'Connor, and then <laughs> we'll go out and drink. <laughs> and uh, she, she was like, oh no, I'm hanging out with people tonight. And I was like, okay. And then wh- uh, she just basically like by that Monday, then called me and was just like, oh yeah, I'm busy this week. I've, so I was, I was getting a huge blow off. Yeah. Um. So then I, I did the preemptive breakup. To, you uh, were like fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I didn't say fuck you. I just said I don't think it's gonna work out because I, I was like, you know, uh, I was direct. I said I think I like you more than you yeah d- you do, and you know I knew I think she- you you displayed that. <laughs> 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 you clearly were more into it than she was. <laughs> I love you. So anyway, I ran the gambit. <laughs> You're both into yourself. <laughs> <laughs> dude, sucking tits and jerking off is crazy. That's a move, Shane dude. was just... It's such a I weird... Forgot, like, I was just... Time out. It's a totally normal that I wasn't full on... I was letting go of my penis regularly. I would then... Stop talking. You know, <laughs> I was you letting just, go of my penis regularly. You were just doing like rapid bursts. Just going like... Just a few jerk, bursts and then touching her up. and then using it and... Oh, I was and trying then using to, it to what? Do you smack her clit? To smack her clit? That's what I told you. I oh my god, Steve. Uh, yeah, you're, you're far enough along for sex. We're, uh, that's a whole different thing. But this is all clit. This is all over panties, though. Yeah. But you guys doing like nude female clothes, male? <laughs> like you're in yeah, all your she clothes? Just had the, she was just all, she had a, a tampon. What were you wearing? I was, you know, just like my underwear. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> Looking <laughs> fucking dope. Looking like, like a dude. Flat <laughs> stomach. You're fucking ripped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, I love it so I much. I got no advice for that. Didn't man. work out. Know. She was she was really cool though, and wasn't that sucks. fucking cool? Wouldn't let no, I guess not. Jerk but, off in her living room. <laughs> but you know what though? At, at a certain point, first of all, I wasn't jerking off in her living room. I was on top of her. I just gave it a few pumps. What? You were on top? Yeah, yeah. Steve. Wait, you gave it a couple pumps? Yeah, yeah. It's He's like pumping I'm his on dick. top. He's she's grinding back. I'm smacking a thing. Just get this. Yeah, <laughs> just all a bunch of normal things going on. I don't. I, that's, I, that's, that's a that's the old that's a page out of the old playbook. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, man, but I'll definitely think twice of it. You see this? Look at this. No women here, but yet I'm I'm going to change the way that I sexually interact with them. Well, I certainly will. <laughs> well, just because it was such a disaster. It's not a disaster. It, it was wasn't just... a total disaster. She, she. How hard did you not when she left? Well, I left. Once you got some alone time. I just, it doesn't work like that for me for some reason. Oh, really? Weird. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm really into the interaction. Cool, yeah. Like I want, like, and I think that's what comes down to why I would take a Peggy because it's like <laughs> if she, when she really likes it, that's what I'm like. Yes, I hear you. I'm a pleaser. Yeah. So that's when she like the like tell me what you want to do. Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh yeah, that's nice. I could talk, baby. That's awesome. All right, Damn, we gotta go. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. Gervin, Gervin, you you're the best. Dude. Absolute. It's a I fucking love you, dude. This Just breathe life back into this podcast. Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like I really regret. Everything you said? No. <laughs> like doing a little bit of that half jerk off thing. Oh. Because the way it sounds no, now, it does dude, sound like dude, I blew it. I, I did not. Hold on. Sit no, back down. Just, yeah. Hold on. I want you to know I was intentionally trying to make you feel that way. Oh, good, well, good, good. Yeah, for a second, I, I also envisioned this as you on a couch making out and jerking off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Now you're telling me you were like full on on yeah, top of each did, other. You did nothing just wrong. Just fucking breathing on each other and stuff. Yeah, yeah. She was, and she was humping back. You gave yourself Which is very great. You were doing her period like. Yeah, You were fine. That's Don't yeah, perfect, feel fucking weird. Right, period right. etiquette. Thank you. That is. You were being a proper gentleman. Woman's period should not stop a man from coming ever. And exactly I didn't come. Right. I didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> there was no coming. I didn't come. You no crumbing. Just yeah. just a classic tit suck jerk off. That's first base. Steve, you're the best. All right. All right uh, 451 or five. I don't know what the fuck the address is. Lancaster. Lancaster, Lancaster PA. Yeah, it's Friday. Friday. It's coming from the Praise the Lord, I was born to drive boat Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel I'm leaned back with the less pull Shit I smoke is like cholesterol Spill dressing on the vest at the festival The best of all Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call